Nobody likes paying full price for an item that is 90% off during Black Friday. These are the best Walmart moments of all time. These entitled customers were caught trying to take all of the toilet paper in their store. This wouldn't fly with the manager who came over and told them to put some back, which they obviously refused to do, before everyone in the store got into an argument with them and things got messy quickly. Let's have a look. This manager at this Walmart was following this customer's son around, accusing him of stealing when he wasn't doing anything wrong. This mother of three decided to stand up for not just her but also her children when she called out this offensive manager and completely humiliated her in front of everybody. Let's have a look. Because he picked it up, she followed my child and tell me, told me she, he's not allowed to pick it up. What'd you say? My child picked up a pair of sunglasses and yeah. she followed him. So basically, as he was walking, she followed him. She left her post to follow him because she picked up, he picked up some glasses. Mm -hmm. He's not allowed to pick that up. Well, if he was going to buy them, he's allowed to pick them up. Right. It, did he grab the glasses? I mean, yeah, he grabbed them, okay. but she said he's not allowed to grab them. And I'm trying to figure out why she can't, he can't grab them. Did you think that he was going to okay? steal them? I thought he was. You thought oh, what? No. You thought yeah, what? Never mind. You no. Say just it again. Go. Say it again. You thought you what? what? He I'm was gonna, gonna steal them. You. you just told your employee you thought he was gonna steal them. A six-year-old child. You thought he was gonna steal them. Did he not? Did she not just say that? Please. Did she just say that? She did. Say she that, did just but... say that. That my six-year-old child was gonna steal them. You literally just said that. No, it's no sorry. He's six years old, so you really thought my child was going to steal a pair of glasses? He is six years old. You literally followed my child. This Karen was caught stockpiling all of the toilet paper in this store and left none for the other customers. That's when this recordee confronted her and exposed her for this, only for this Karen to snap, get confrontational, and started getting in the recordee's face. Let's have a look. Hi. Yeah, look. Look at this wonderful woman who just told me to go F myself and mind my own effing business who just bought the entire store of paper towels, toilet paper, so that nobody else can have any. It's really lovely. And I wish I had gotten her earlier when she was telling me to go F myself and mind my own effing business. But now she's being all calm because she knows she's going to be on everywhere yeah this is nice oh it's gonna go viral too bad I didn't get this male Karen was at a hardware store and he tried to purchase a toilet that was already sold to another customer and for this reason had a total meltdown. This entitled Karen believed that he was the one who was going to purchase the item that was already sold and therefore physically grabbed it and didn't let anybody else have it. He then had a total meltdown for several minutes so let's have a look. <laughs> Can you call the manager? You're causing the problem. No I'm not. We've sold this to her already. You came right in front of me. I this have the receipt. We okay. bought it I'm already. You work right it here. out with another store. Well, you go and work it out with them. As soon as I do, I will. When I'm not have taking the same away price. from this young lady. I didn't take away from anything. I was That's here. That's what you're trying to do right now. No. Why I do I have to wait for you to call another store? That. It's mine. I don't need to wait. I was in front of it. I said, I want this toilet. We pay you for it. You in front of me and you grab it from me. Because I paid for it already. I prayed that I picked up. Put your camera down. Go ahead, record me. I'm not doing oh, no. anything wrong. <laughs> you have my toilet that I can't I grab. Have your toilet. <laughs> I don't have your toilet. 
crazy. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> no, we'll have the police remove you if you can't remove yourself. I can remove myself just fine. This entitled customer had been caught shoplifting by pretending that her baby was in her stroller when in reality there was a bunch of items she had stolen underneath the covers. She then tried to leave the grocery store but an employee had stopped her and that's when she went into a total meltdown demanding that they move out of her way so that she could take the stolen goods out of the store. Let's have a look. Dude, let me talk to your manager bro. Stop blocking my way bud. That's false imprisonment. That's false imprisonment bro. You're making me uncomfortable bud. That's false imprisonment. Don't touch my stroller bro. Can you open it up? Don't touch my stroller, bro. Don't touch my stroller, bro. Let me talk to your manager. Excuse me. Where's his manager at, please? He's like blocking my way, bro. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? Where's his manager at, please? Can you open it up? No, I'm not having it. Can you open it up? Where's his manager at, please? Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you open it up? No, I can't. Excuse me. Can you Open There's it up. nothing else in there, bro. Look. Open it up. Nothing open it up. Maybe right one more. Right more. more. I just open got in up. this store. You bring the rest of it out. There is nothing else in here. She look. Saw everything. Why don't you open look? Take the cover Why off. Why don't you just look? I'm not doing all that. Take the cover off. I'm not doing all that. I'm gonna snatch it off. Soon. Oh my god. It's on camera. Go ahead. There is nothing under okay, here. Okay, move it. Move it. Oh my god. It's yes, a banana. Oh, banana. Oh, banana. Oh, big what? A banana. Don't catch me, bro. First of all. This customer was actually caught and exposed for shoplifting and for this reason they actually locked the doors on her so that she couldn't leave while they called the authorities. This customer claimed that she wasn't shoplifting and even though she was caught putting things down her pants, she claims it was just an itch and that she was in the right. Let's have a look. Open the door, I'm listening. I'm not opening the door. Come on, Ray, please get out of these people's service. Can you please give call the police? Give me the question. I'm finna call the police because you Well, y'all call the police because I'm telling you, look. You said I stole something, I put something down here, baby. I was digging in my tail. That's what I was doing. I was digging down here. I'm gonna show you, I was digging, I got a pad on. I ain't put nothing down here. Now y'all finna get in trouble and show the police the camera. I was digging in my tail. That's what I was doing, digging. You finna go to jail. I was digging, I got a hole I wanna show you. Man, I, man, what, what's good? I, I'm recording this way so you can have for your uh, evidence. But please keep recording and please send that to me, boo. Because mm -hmm. I don't know why she's doing this. She don't like me because she knows I used to never love her sister man before her sister, boo. All about her ugly behind mm -hmm. Billy. Girl, Billy Jean, girl. Jean Davis. Uh, mm -hmm. All about a man. Mm -hmm. That I ain't messed with in over 10 years. Baby, move. Baby, move, baby. No, no, baby, no, no, baby no, no, move, please. No, no, no. The police taking they forever to get him. They coming. No, you need to move from this door. You're locking me in here to my I stole something. What I was like, but what did I steal? What did I steal? Why was you digging down there, ma'am? Because I'm up there and my coochie was itching. And I have a right to scratch it because I'm grown. And I have a whole panel out of panel. It didn't look like you were scratching down there. I know what I was doing, baby. There ain't nothing down there, is it? Is it something down there? Drones. This customer was having a total meltdown in the middle of the store as he couldn't buy enough toilet paper in the quantity he wanted. This male Karen thought that he could stockpile all of it, leaving none for the other customers, which wasn't going to happen. And when he didn't get his way, he had a total meltdown. Let's have a look. Get out. Get out of my store. Run out. Get out. Get out. Get out. What's the big one for? What's the big one for? Who do you think the big one for? Just get out! Play back the clock, just please. Leave now! You don't be fair to everyone. I am being fair, like you mean that random. You're not being fair. I am. You're giving out the big, the small ones, what happens to the big one? Who are you giving the big one to? You know what? Who? What? If you are mad, I'm going to smack your face. You know what? I am a big one. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! After waiting in line at this Walmart, this gentleman noticed that this lady had pushed in front of him, so he tapped her on the shoulder to let her know that she cut the line. This customer then completely snapped at this other customer, demanding that he leave the store immediately, and started screaming at everybody. Let's have a look. I didn't touch you, man. Not that long ago, and I can't stand another man touching me! Well, no one did that. Is this a prank? He won't go away! He needs to go away! 
I need to leave? No, no, no. Just I still got, I still got, okay. Let's, let's she threw some place. of my stuff. Okay. You know, just Where's she she still? Place. I hell if I know. I'm so sorry. We're just, we're not sorry. We're she wasn't she sorry when she cut in line. To make it, oh, I just asked her if she saw just anyone leave. in line. Just leave. Just go. That's leave. an adult. You're making it worse. Let's just walk up. I'm just here. talking. Walk up to Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Just walk up to everything. This woman also wasn't following the same rules as everybody else, which led to her being denied service and asked to leave the premises. She refused to do this though and started following the employees around while recording them, even though they were asking her politely to stay away from them, which she refused to do. Let's have a look. Hey, hey, hey. I am. I am. So get back for me. Thank you. I'm not making your office. Don't underestimate me. Can I get tag tag for my dogs, no. please? Stay away from me. Stay away from me? I'm gonna say thank you. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. Do you see this? Do you see her? I'm just trying to get Put a mask on. Put a mask on. Put a mask on. I have asthma. There's a pin. Put a mask on. Oh or get out of the store. That's oh my their God. rules. I'm getting kicked out. Yeah. This is all recorded. <laughs> Great. I'm getting kicked out. <laughs> This Karen was blocking the aisle when this lady needed to grab something medical related. She politely excused herself while she bent over to grab the item, and then this Karen had a total meltdown at her, demanding that she goes back to her own country before literally getting kicked out of the store. Let's have a look. Run your mouth. Go back to Listen, Mexico. Listen, I said, I said, excuse go, go, me. Go back, wherever you're from. I said, excuse me, don't be rude. You, you're the one that's rude. No, I said, yes, excuse me, I'm trying to buy you're something. You're in America. So? So? So what? That's none of your business. Stay out of it. I don't need to stay out of it. Stay I out said, of excuse me. for everybody to hear. Stop being ignorant. Another calling me ignorant? Oh, yes. my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You are, you are yes. very rude. No, you're the one that's rude. I said, excuse me, because I'm, I'm trying to grab my medicine. You told me, you know what you told me, and I Yes, I said, I said, if you don't like Just me, I'm sorry. On. Just go on. Just go on. Get Whatever. Get out of here. No, I'm and not going to get out of Mexico. here. No. No, I'm not. Because this is my country. Argue? Yes, this is my country. country. Oh, yes, it is. No, no, we don't oh, yes, it here. is. I don't That's care. We, we don't want you I don't here. care what you want or not. We no. do want you here. Leave me That's alone. No. Yes. How, rude. You. Oh, Thank How rude. How rude. Get her to no, leave me this, alone. This, this is inappropriate. Thank you. Her. For, for, Tell her. No, no ma'am. Oh. Tell her. It's inappropriate. I said excuse me. Speak for the store. I'm not here for the store. You're in the store. I'm spending money in the store. Correct. So am I. That's correct. Uh-huh. So we're both Please customers. go. Please oh. go. Get out of here. How rude. Wait, 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 wait. Shut up. Are you? Does she honestly still have a right to no, be here? Okay. I'm going to have to ask you to This is inappropriate. It's not my fault. She started it. I did not do anything. I said you're going to make her leave too? Well, you're just causing a scene in the store. I'm not. She is. By no, what? I did, did you not. watch it? No, you weren't even I, I heard you from she the office. Is. That's because she was mouthing me. No, I said, excuse me. So don't tell me it's my fault. And you said, every time I'm on an aisle, people just come near me. I wasn't me. talking to you. And I said, but I'm you sorry. Made it your business. I said, I'm sorry. If you don't like it, I she need did. to get my medicine. She's it all out. No, I'm every not. Bit of it all. Wow. Just get your stuff and go. Oh, She's shopping as well. Oh, my man. gosh. She has I every right too. to be here as you. And I'm not going to listen to her mouth. You don't have to listen to her, but she's still I here and has every right to shut. I do. Which is what you're doing as well, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so this gentleman was waiting to check out when a lady cut in front of him and checked her items out instead. This gentleman was not happy about this though and confronted not just the lady who cut in front of him, but also the clerk who was checking out her items. Everyone else didn't think it was really a big deal as he didn't even attempt to move forward or put his items up, but as this male Karen was in a big rush, he demanded that he be rung up immediately. Let's have a look. Uh, so look, I was standing here waiting. To pay for this up. Okay. I'll, before, I'll, no, no, but listen, I was standing here waiting before she walked up. 
Okay. And that's, she just walked right in front of me. That's fine. I'll take care of you. No, no, listen. But why are you taking her in front of me if I was here first? You weren't in line with my seat. No, 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 no. I was so in line. I was waiting before you. Listen, I was waiting in front. Okay, I apologize. I didn't know. No, no, listen. Okay. I, I'm in a hurry to go. Please, okay. Joshua. Listen. Okay. Listen. And you see, you see me waiting there, and I, I talked to you before okay. you even started any, any of okay. this transaction. I've, I've got the transaction. Joshua, I'm just gonna. But can, can you please? I can't. I'm, I've already started. But, but it's, I, it's I already asked here. you before you started. Yeah, yeah, I already yeah. asked you before you started, you're Joshua. You, hey man. <laughs> but, but but why would you do that? This Karen was harassed in the service department when there was only one lady taking the phones. She failed to process that she couldn't be put onto another employee as she was the only one there at the time. She only kept getting the ringtone when the employee hung up on her several times, sending her into a total meltdown. Let's have a look. Y'all, this lady keep calling. Customer service. Hey, I don't know who you think you are that you think you can hang up in my face. But you're not gonna do it again. Okay. Get me a manager on this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she called to talk to a manager, right? All the managers are in a meeting, so I let her know that. She said, "No, you're not gonna hang up on me." So I hung up the first time. Then she just called back again and said what she said. Girl, you're you don't have any power here. Said you're not gonna hang. Bye. <laughs> here she go again. Customer service. I will have you all fired if you don't get me a manager. The managers are in a meeting, ma'am. Okay. Well, ma'am, you know what? I am not stupid. You have some... <laughs> Customer service. You know what? I'm going to keep calling until you get a manager on the phone. They're in a meeting, ma'am. I don't care. It doesn't... <laughs> Customer service. Ma'am, I'm gonna keep calling every department till you get somebody. You're gonna keep getting me, ma'am. The managers are in a meeting right now. Well, I am glad that you're the only one that I'm gonna get because now they'll know who's been such a Oh, you want a tussle. <laughs> I am going to report you. You've been rude and disrespectful. I told you the managers are in a meeting, ma'am. I can't and feel your you request. And you up in my face. You didn't even try. Bye. Need to speak to a manager. They're still in a meeting, ma'am. Then transfer me to electronic. Okay, one second. So disrespectful. She hung up on me seven times. She laughed in my face, and I was so mad with her that I called her a that's how disrespectful she was to me. This entitled customer had been caught shoplifting by pretending that her baby was in her stroller, when in reality there was a bunch of items she had stolen underneath the covers. She then tried to leave the grocery store, but an employee had stopped her, and that's when she went into a total meltdown demanding that they move out of her way so that she could take the stolen goods out of the store. Let's have a look. Dude, let me talk to your manager, bro. Stop blocking my way, bud. That's false imprisonment. That's false imprisonment, bro. You're making me uncomffortable, bud. That's false in prison. Don't touch my stroller, bro. Don't touch my stroller, bro. Don't touch my stroller, bro. Let me talk to your manager. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Where is his manager at, please? He's like blocking my way, bro. Can you open it up? No, I can't actually. Yes, you can. Can you put your face mask on? No, I don't have any product. I just put them right there. So he just said, "Give me that." Come back, so now you already got. Come back, so now you already got. Oh my god, where is your manager? 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 Where is your my is my my is my There is nothing else in there, bro. Look. Open it up. The Open it up. Maybe one like more. 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 I just Open got in up. this store. Just bring the rest of it out. There is nothing else in here. Look. Why don't you look? Take the cover Why don't you just look? I'm not doing all that. Take the cover off. I'm not doing all that. I'm gonna snatch it off. Soon. Oh my god. It's on camera. Go ahead. There is nothing under okay, here. Okay, move it. Move it. Oh my god. It's yes, a banana. Oh, banana. Oh, banana. Oh, good work. A banana. This male Karen was at a hardware store and he tried to purchase a toilet that was already sold to another customer and for this reason had a total meltdown. This entitled Karen believed that he was the one who was going to purchase the item that was already sold and therefore physically grabbed it and didn't let anybody else have it. He then had a total meltdown for several minutes so let's have a look. 
you're going to cause problems. Can you call the manager? You're causing the problem. No, I'm not. We've sold this to her already. You came right in front of me. I this have the receipt. We okay. bought it I'm already. You work right it out with another store. Well, you go and as soon as I do, I will. When you're I not have taking the same away price. from this young lady. I didn't take away from anything. I was That's here. That's what you're trying to do right now. No. Why I do I have to wait for you to call another store? That. It's mine. Okay. I don't need to I wait. Right here in front of it. I said I want this toilet. We paid you for it. You up in front of me and you grabbed it from me. Because I paid for it already. I paid and I picked it up. Put your camera down. Go ahead and record me. I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> you have my toilet that I can't I grab. <laughs> I don't have your toilet. Crazy. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> no, we'll have the police remove you if you can't remove yourself. I can remove myself just fine. This male Karen was inside of this grocery store and he wasn't following the same rules as everybody else. He was given every opportunity to just follow the rules and inevitably asked to leave the store. It's then that he was sent into a total meltdown and refused to follow the rules or leave the store, which left the employees with no choice but to call the authorities on him where they showed up and detained him. So let's have a look. Hey, I want you because I'm white, she asked me to leave the property. It is because of what? What else is it? Knock it off. Just don't tell me to knock it off. I ain't sitting under here. Put them down and leave. Now we're going to jail. Well, okay, why are you throwing your feet at me for? I'm just wanting to know why she asked me to leave the property. Because I'm white. Because I'm white. You used to put on a mask. Thank you. Well, you don't. Who's Christmas? My, my, in, in my, I don't know what county you are, but in my county, my sheriff said it's an unlawful mandate. My sheriff said Okay, guess what? I don't work for Darren King. I work for the county lawyer. Okay. And I'm telling you, this is your policy. You're not even wearing your mask right. If you want to cut, if you want to get to that. No, I'm cutting because I'm white. Come here, it's because I'm white. It's because I'm white. Yeah, it is. Okay, this this is. I'll put it down. I'll walk back out here. I'll walk back out here. But this is it's cheap. I'm not calling. I need you to ask him in our presence to leave the store. Leave the store. I'll come back in because I'm white. You're doing that. No, you're not going to leave the store. I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> That's sucks. Crazy. Don't worry. I was filming him the entire time. <laughs> Micah says I got him on. <laughs> Meet Walmart Mary. She works at Walmart and profiled these gentlemen who were just trying to purchase items from the store. She stated that they were so suspicious for having a backpack that she needed all of their information and to get out of her store immediately, sending her own employee through friendly fire into a total meltdown. Let's have a look. I'll turn this that, into corporate. That's, that's just, that's not like yeah, that. yeah this, this Walmart you right here. You turn me into corporate. This Walmart, yeah. Because unless you're spending money, uh -huh. we don't need Oh, we not, I'm not spending money Am I because uh, I'm black? Uh, what do we do? Because I'm black. Third group of people tonight I've had to chase away because they think Walmart is a playground. And what did I do? What did, hold on, hold on, let me say wait, this. On, what did wait. I do to make this a playground, yeah, ma'am? I mean, what have I done to make this a playground? They come in and browse. They and backpacks? They don't, they don't, they, I asked them if yeah, they take their backpacks. And, and did, we, did we have a problem? Well, well, there, you well, can't there assume. There no, no, but wait, let her talk, let her talk. Let it her prepare herself. No, it doesn't. I asked them to take their backpacks out. And they I will not have school. him treating me like that. If you don't stand up, you've got superiors no. to answer to. No. Now, you take care of him. No, oh, Mary, okay. I'll take care of you. What? No. Wow. Oh, this you going got in. superior standards. What? He will not you. treat me like this. No, I'm the customer. You're the worker. Spend money then. I'm the customer. Mary. I got money. More money than you make. What you talking about? Money. What you going to take it? Oh, now, oh, now we got I'm a customer. You're more hey, than welcome to. Drug money? Drug money. Drug money? I don't sell drugs. That's now I sell drugs. Hold on, let me finish. Was Nothing was going on. Okay. I, I, I deal with customers on a daily day basis. That's that's profiling. And what she did, do you have something I can help you with? For her to come up and approach us like that in that manner, that is not right. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> oh, oh, so, if she don't get fired... Hold on, wait a this gentleman was out of Walmart and he was trying to return an item, but as it didn't meet the return policy, they wouldn't process it. He was obviously frustrated about this and didn't agree with it, and that's when he took out his frustration on the other employees and a manager had to get involved. He refused to speak to this manager, though, and wanted to continue harassing this employee before things had escalated extremely poorly. Let's have a look. Why are you holding this? Don't touch me, this. Can you stop this? Can you stop this right now? Don't touch me. Can you stop this right now? He's assaulting me. Right He's assaulting me. Can you stop this right now? You witness this? He assaulted me? Brian, Call the cops. Right to the and ask first. Call the cops. Don't, don't listen. 
I dare stop. you. I dare you. I Listen, dare you. Stop. I dare you. Stop. Do it. You don't have a right. So, so answer you don't have you any right to record in us. Don't come near me. You don't you have, have any right to record in us. <coughs> Tell me Get why. Get the receipt. Get the receipt first. So you're not going to be sharing my Get product? Get the receipt first. What's your policy? It's not your business. It's not my It's not your business. You're going on YouTube. Yes, it's not your business. Not my business? No, no, no. Look at the receipt. 90 days, you said. I don't need a receipt. Go ask your mother to give you a receipt. So, so, we don't need a proper to return so you're saying I need, I need a receipt? Yes, you do need a receipt. Is that your policy? Yes. Awesome. So so is this my policy? I'm assaulting? I have it on video, you idiot. You dip. Dip. It's on film, you idiot. You assaulted me, you dummy. You idiot. You, you've seen this, right? Go away. You all seen this? You should leave the store. This lady had booked her flight on an overbooked airline, and when she arrived, they decided to sell her a seat to somebody else. She obviously wasn't happy about this, and that's where the dispute begun. But this employee claims that it's out of their control and didn't want to help the lady. An argument begun when tensions rose as she wasn't going to get her way, and the employee just flat out didn't want to help her. Let's have a look. What do you mean by you're done with me? Ma'am, you're not going to sit here and try to record stuff and try to act like... No, seriously, what are you? What do you mean by you're done your with me? Your ticket is in point because you're being a disruptive passenger. How am I being a disruptive passenger? Ma'am, you, you can literally step over there. Me. I'm not going to speak to you and I'm definitely not going to speak to you if me. you have me on your phone, on your camera. Oh, because you don't want me to record how rude you've you been You can record me? whatever you want to be. You were the last one to check in. You were denied boarding, I did not. So I checked in all. an hour and a half ago. And I told you then that you were the very last one and you would probably not get a seat because the flight was over. This flight is delayed by an hour and a half. Regardless you of that, sold. you were the last one to check in and the flight was on. I have a, I have an email confirming Step away from my that counter, the ticket I'm asking you not that to I would get a me. ticket. I'm asking you to not record me. Step away Is from my counter. Is that a law in Texas that I can't record you in public? Step away from my counter. That I can't record you in public? Step away from my counter. Oh, okay. Tell me, tell me more. You can sit here all you want to. Your ticket is canceled. If you want to stand here, I'll call security and I can have you removed. Those are your choices at this point. Because I'm bothering you. You're being a disruptive passenger. How am I being So you can flip it however you want to. How am I being You're being a disruptive passenger and you are done. Thank you. Have a nice day. How am I being disruptive? If I see you over here in five minutes, I will be calling security on you. Have a nice day. Are you kidding me? Look at this. There is no one here. Absolutely no one here. Look at this. I'm being disruptive. This Karen was having a total meltdown when she decided that enough was enough and she wanted to speak to the higher ups. This Karen wanted to put in a formal complaint and then became incredibly offensive and rude to these employees who were just trying to do their job. Let's have a look. Who do I complain about? Shut up. You're rude. You are rude. Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. Who do I complain about for her? Who do I complain about? 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 Shara is a most like a moon manager here. She said she would be the part of the Yeah, You want a manager to talk to me? You bring your manager here. You get up. If you want to talk to me, you bring your manager here, you idiot. Or go speak Chinese with your other staff and talk me somewhere else. Get him somewhere else. What the hell is going on? Does he start fights with all your people? Then get him in the back. That is rude. Shut up and get out of here, you idiot. You're okay? That's rude. This Walmart Karen was caught not only skipping the queue, but then allowing all of her friends and family to skip the queue with her when she bumped them all in line. This made no sense and affected everybody behind her, which sent all of them into a rage when they called her out for it and she gave the bicker in right back. Let's have a look. Security! You can't put all those people in front of you. Come on, you cannot. How she gonna put like three Come people on. in front of her? This is a line. We're in a line. No, I was right here. He was at my car. Okay. He's trying. She's trying to okay. let people cut in front of her. We not okay. doing that. We'll That's up. what we not doing. We not doing that. We'll we not doing we'll that. Five up. He was standing. It, it was fine when he was standing yes, behind me, and I didn't land my car. I was waiting for my grandma to come with my car. He was standing in front and behind me, fine until I got my car. Get five up. Get five up. Do 
Okay, we're not getting beat up by the young blood. No one's getting beat up. Okay, they'll beat us up. Can I take you by the business center? Okay. Check it out. You want me to call five, though? All right, so it's got a Nothing. I don't know what her voodoo is talking about. She better go to You stay over there. 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 Stay over there. That is a liar. I don't need that. This lady was blocking the aisle with her trolley when she was told to move, which set her off completely. The employee stated that people weren't getting through, but this enraged lady stated that it's because she was told to go there by another employee, so it couldn't be her fault. Let's have a look. Anybody, I'm not blocking You should be fired. No. You should be fired. Look, it's still a good Because she, because she sent me here. Come on. You don't deserve to Go. Here. See? Here. There was nobody here. I Who was here way before anyone. Hey, it's, oh it's okay. Um, we're just purchasing that one. I don't know if you can take it over there somewhere where you we're going to go. Be yeah, yeah. Okay. So what, whose is this? This, the, I'm trying to purchase this that one. But I got all my stuff over here too. Okay, are you done? Are you done? No, I gotta purchase all that. I, if you can put it over there, I'll buy it over there. It doesn't matter. Hey, 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 watch your language. Watch your language. You you shut up. I'm a customer. I don't care. Before anybody hey, 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 Yeah, I. You probably had a go to you like that for life. Jimmy, Jimmy, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back to your stuff is, 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 is on my machine, but she said the, her card never works. So this lady started recording herself for a video when a Karen came up and took her phone. This Karen then walked off with her mobile phone only for the recordee to try and get it back. And this Karen wanted proof from her that it was hers and refused to listen to her. Let's have a look. Hey, hold on a second. I just got to get some water. Oh my God, someone left their phone here. Someone left their phone on the water. Sorry, that's my phone, I was making a video. Oh, this is your phone, right? Okay, sure, okay. You'll have to take it up with the checker. It is my phone. How do I know it's your phone? Because I'm, tr look, I'm trying to record a video. It's not recording, I'm gonna go take it to the checker. You can get it at the checker. This woman was trying to get her daughter's prescription from this Walmart pharmacy, but the employee was taking too long for her liking. That's when she had a total meltdown screaming from across the store, which even the security overheard and came over immediately. Let's take a look. This crazy male Karen confronted a random lady at this Walmart for literally no reason. This crazy Karen threatened her and started getting confrontational as well when the lady literally didn't do anything and didn't even know who this guy was. This aggressive male Karen then stated that they would have to call the authorities on him if they wanted him to leave the premises, which he refused to do before having a total meltdown. Let's have a look. Yeah, take a deep breath. Ha! Right back at you, your own medicine. You don't know who the f you're with. I don't give a Mind your 
business. You understand me? Sir, what's the problem? Ask her. Ask her. I was literally not doing anything. Bull After this is all. Nope. Bull okay. call, call PD. We're gonna call PD, but yeah. your behavior on? is not gonna be tolerated. I don't give a well, she's a mind her fing business and stay out of my well, right because she doesn't know the, the, what the right going on. Now you're I don't give a you need to do I don't give a I don't give a flying rat. No bull You know what the Did you receive my contacts? No. My email? No. My best No, f that. Hey, you need to leave. Let's go. I ain't leaving. I ain't leaving. That's all right. I mean, we'll get the cops in here. Get the cops in here. I give a. I know. You know exactly what's going on, Steve. I know my contacts are lost, my messages, and my photos. I don't give a flying. I don't give a flying. These customers were Marines and soldiers and weren't treated adequately to their liking. They then had a total meltdown at this employee where they went back and forth for quite some time, demanding more respect in the store. Let's have a look. As a Marine and I'm in this, I'm a soldier in the United States Army. We do not appreciate being treated like this. Excuse me. No, don't excuse me. This is not becoming. Your manager right there, literally, I don't care. She literally told these ladies, I don't care. Y'all need to go home. Please leave no, the store. I'm, I will not service you. Please leave You the won't store. service me? No, Fairfax is coming. Fine, call Fairfax. See if I care. I'm going to show them this video, too, of your, your manager and her behavior and her customer service. Go ahead. Call Fairfax County. You see all of this concern over here? Oh, wait. Nope. Sure don't. Bye. Bye, Felicia. This Karen was having a total meltdown inside of this Walmart because she wasn't receiving any service. She decided to crawl onto the self-checkout register, screaming and demanding for help immediately. She was soon put in her place when the employee told her to get down from there and made no attempt to get to her any sooner. Let's have a look. Did you hear that? Come on! Somebody pick up your phone! Not Walmart. That's Walmart. Where at Walmart? Where at Walmart? Where at Walmart? Yes, come on! This male Karen was walking around this Walmart like he owned the place when he found himself in a confrontational argument with an employee. This went on for a little bit of time before somebody else walking past overheard the conversation and jumped in, sending this male Karen into a total meltdown where he continued arguing with just about everybody. Let's have a look. What are you talking to her that way for, dude? Huh? Why are you talking to her that way? You're so what do you care? You're disrespectful to a, a woman, dude. That's her job. Dude, it's not her job it's to get yelled a, at by you. She's not a woman, a man. She's You're cursing employee. at her. You're cursing hey, her. off. You off. Come on. You got some great manners there, Shut dude. Your Put hey, your Dad. mask up, Come bro. On, huh? Put your mask up. Come on. How about you. I cough on you? Uh, uh, mm. How's that? Yeah, you're a great dude, aren't you? This good Samaritan noticed that this creepy man was recording people without their permission. He decided to confront this creep for recording girls and left him humiliated when he was caught in a bundle of lies and couldn't justify what he was doing. This creep then tried to get away from him but was soon followed and called out in front of everybody, leaving him humiliated. Let's have a look. Caught this man pretending to be on the phone hey, boss, while he was recording boss, girls your, in the mall. Your camera on, brother. You're not even on the phone, brother. Yo, you're not even on the phone, bro. What you doing, bro? You on that weird Nah, brother, you was recording. Nah, you was recording, bro. Watch out for I tell security, bro. You on that weird Watch out, boy. You want me to tell security? Don't touch me, boy. I'm gonna tell security, boy. You want me to tell you want me to tell security? Alright, go. Go. Hey, you better leave them all, boy, before I tell security. Hurry up. You thought this was, bro, you recorded females and 
Go. You think huh? Oh, they're on. Had to walk no where females, else. Bro, you weird. I'm gonna get your face. I already got that. Okay, so this difficult customer was actually in a Walmart, but he had no intention on buying any items. The reason why he was in the Walmart is he was looking for a place to sit for a couple of hours and thought that he would help themselves to their chairs until he was confronted for it. The managers claim that people can't just come in and sit down for hours on end who have no intention on buying anything, and the difficult customer finds this offensive and has a total meltdown at the employees over it. Let's have a look. Oh, you do have a Burger King here? No, not inside. It's right See, that's here. the thing. You know, I'm looking for places to sit. Right. Yeah. Well, and, we and play on my internet. Right. So, and you don't have a Burger King no, or McDonald's we, we or Subway. Well, I didn't see any sign. I mean, it's yeah. well, it's not it's not. I didn't see any like you know yeah. concern. You know, yeah. you guys are expressing concern like you're picking on me. Oh, so, so I'm the, the first. I'm the first person yeah. that's yeah. ever sat there. And are, are you going to purchase something? Because I'm not going to argue. All yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm telling, I'm explaining to you what I did. Okay. Do you understand where I'm where I'm coming I'm from? Don't sit. You're saying you're not allowed to sit anywhere. We have a bench at the we front. We have of a the bench store at the very front by the restaurant. Okay. Yeah. The water I I see yeah. a bench right there. No, that's part of the pharmacy. This is off limits. This is off limits. Off limits. All where does it say that? It, it I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to know a pharmacy is yeah. not allowed to have like people sitting around it. This Karen was playing tug of war with this employee over literally a bucket. This Karen refused to let the item go and stood there for several minutes demanding to be able to take it home with her free of charge. This Karen stated that she would simply bring the bucket back after she was done with it and didn't see why that would be a problem to be able to steal it from the store. Let's have a look. Did you just say you're going to call 911? Yeah, yeah, I am. Why? I'm going to call 911. Because I want them to let me out the door and have someone help me with my purchase to the car. So how and about I want to sit on the buckets while I wait. And she won't let me have the buckets. And she won't call a manager and she won't call 911. Well, somebody's already calling a manager. Well, why does the, why do the police need to come for that, though? Because she's harassing me. I don't think that she's harassing you. I the from her because she didn't purchase them and I got to put them back anyway. But she says she don't even want to go all the way down there to go out the door knowing that these doors are locked. I was done door. at 8 o'clock. And I wanted to be let out that door, but she won't let me go to that door. So, now I don't know. Chapter eight. the door locked. But you didn't it's pay locked. for the buckets, right? Uh -huh. I'm not let leaving the store with them. Let, let it go. Let it go. Come on, let's see. But you, you still don't even threaten people to call the police, though. That's completely uncalled for. Yeah, that's the police calling me back. Now, here are your lovely buckets. Can I get help with my car now? So, you, you didn't put your hands on my associate, though, did you? She put her hands on me. Okay. So we got video for this stuff. Yeah, check it out. She should be fired. I have the whole thing on video she if you want to see. Also, she threatened to call the police on her for no reason. She wouldn't let me walk toward the gate. That's not an emergency. You call 911 for an emergency. If I somebody doesn't let you. Ma'am, you're being trapped in the store. Ma'am, ma you're being trapped in the store. You're yeah. being trapped. Yes. Yeah. It's against the law to lock this gate like that. I'm just trying to make sure everybody's okay. Did you purchase your stuff, man? This Karen wasn't following the same rules as everybody else and for this reason she was asked politely to leave the premises which she refused to do. She began having a total meltdown at the employees and a lot of back and forth bickering so let's have a look. It's just that we get a lot of complaints if we have customers walking around without masks it's in the store. Okay. Their store can be Why? shut down. The, the Walmart can be shut down and fined. Okay. I, I, I'm, I've never met a Karen before, so I'm excited. I can't wait to put this on Twitter. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Showed me. Yeah, you got a mask on. Don't be worried about me. Hi, Karen. Bye, Karen. <laughs> never met a Karen before. This Karen refused service to the gentleman wearing his army outfit as she thought he was a stolen valor and wanted him to take it off immediately if they wanted to check their items out in her store. This led to a debate when another gentleman came over and confirmed the authenticity of his job, which this Karen doubled down and still didn't serve them. Let's have a look. Officer 4, United States Marine Corps. It doesn't matter in the civilian world. Pull up Marine Corps orc, you may not it's wear pants. Okay. Where's your supervisor, Brent, that you're kicking somebody out the store for having on a uniform in the Marine? In, in His son is a Marine. 
It doesn't matter. Where's the supervisor at? You, so so you're refusing to you, serve him? I'm not refusing to serve him. I'm just telling him okay. to take that. How you came at him is so disrespectful. Okay? You could have told him, pull them to the side if you felt that way about your Marine Corps. I feel the same way about my army, but I'm right. not going to allow you to disrespect that man like that by talking to him like that. But Where's your supervisor uniform. at? Because you're saying you're not going to serve him because he's not on a United States uniform on. He does, but he didn't He didn't earn that. I earned it. I 13 it. months so in Afghanistan. Doing? It doesn't matter. We all fought. Right. It doesn't right. matter. Are you, are you denying Rick, that man Rick, food Rick, because he's here? Rick, 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 are you serious? Rick, Where's the supervisor Rick, at? Rick. This Walmart Karen didn't like this lady's top and decided to confront her for it. That's when she confronted her and got physical with her, stating she's going to knock her out, among other things. Other people intervened, which only set this Karen off even more. So let's have a look. I knocked you out. You need to get out of my face. Shut, Shut up. up. Shut up. Why am I f***ing my shirt? Because you're lying about it. Let I've never known about your shirt. Oh, yeah, you didn't I, know what you're talking I never about. said ugly outfit. Yes, I called you ugly. You said rude outfit. And that's what you said. Yes, you don't call me. Don't call me. Shut up. I'll take you outside. Well, and shut up. What are you going to do? I'll take you outside and get the crap out of you. Oh, really? Shut up. Really? Yeah. Okay. Don't I'd you like call me your grandma? I'll well, put well, your little butt one. down there and mash. You just not. Get out of my face. You get out of my don't face. Don't yeah. touch me. Back up. I don't touch me. Back you don't up. tell me to back up. Get out of my face. Shut up. You shut your mouth. Right. Are you going to get I'm it smashed? Scared. You think I'm scared of you? It's okay. It's you okay. think I'm scared of you? Back up. You shut up. Come on. She's sick. You ain't got no respect for nobody. I don't care. I don't have to respect you. Look at how you're talking to me. You don't deserve any respect. Okay, so this gentleman works at a CVS and noticed that people were shoplifting inside of his store. He decided to take matters into his own hands when he banned them from the store and called the authorities on them too. This Karen then completely flipped at the employee stating that he's ruining these kids lives and placing him in the wrong for calling the authorities on thieves. This Karen then goes on to belittle the staff member. Let's have a look. Can I ask, um, so I live in the neighborhood sure. um, and I have come to the CVS very often. Mm -hmm. May I ask why you called the police on those two men? Um, CVS policies, if they're shoplifters, mm -hmm. the exit store with merchandise unpaid for, yeah. we should get the police involved. And if the police apprehend them, mm -hmm. we should issue a barring order. Okay. So I actually did not elect to press charges. I said, hey, look, I just want them to know they can't come in here anymore because they shoplifted, and I just need them to sign that, and I need my merchandise back. And the officers obliged, and the guy said the same thing, thank you, and they left. It's not your merchandise, it's the store. So you know what happens when the police men or black people, and you decided to call the police on two black people that stole, that allegedly took something from the store because you're willing to uphold the policy and they could have lost their lives. We, we can agree to disagree on this because I don't work for you and I don't answer. I follow my company's policies, not your policies, where I can appreciate your concerns. So I, you're willing to risk someone's life for what, $30,000 a year? There, That's There was no risk in my opinion, that, thank you. You have a great night. Thank what you. is your name? My name is Storm Manager. No, what is his name? No one's gonna tell you my name. This gentleman needed to pick up his prescription at the pharmacy and they wouldn't accept his currency as he only had coins and they wanted big notes or credit card payment. The prescription was detrimental to his health and he just wanted to grab it and get going and they refused to count the money and let him have it. Let's have a look. I don't know. So I can't get my medication because you don't take American money. Is that what you're saying? You don't take American money? Because that's what it sounds like you're claiming. So you can't take American money. Ridiculous. It's American money. You give it back in change every day. What is so hard? I save my up to get money to buy medication and you won't take it. Not everybody is rich, you know. Not everybody has a credit card. This is money. It's taken at every bank in the United States. It's taken at every business in the United States except apparently Walmart. 
Walmart doesn't take- This Walmart manager met her maker when she bumped into a group of friends who were playing around in a Walmart. They then went back and forth bickering for quite some time, where neither party refused to admit wrongdoing or tripping power. Who do you think is in the wrong? Let's have a look. Miss. Karen. Stop talking and listen. I'm allowed to record whatever I want. No, you cannot. Yes, I can. I can record wherever I want. What are you talking about? Just stop. Why are you in the cart? Look at my knee, man. Okay, I, I explained to him. And it hurts. Okay. Are we supposed to give an explanation are for you, why he's in the cart? Are you? Did you have somebody standing on the back of it? Okay, I didn't realize that, though. But okay. I paid for my stuff. When, when, I don't steal. And second of all, I wouldn't be on the cart if I didn't need it. Okay. And I'm not doing anything. Where is your cart? It's outside. Where? In the parking lot. That side or this side? I'm using the restroom, ma'am. Okay. I'll wait and I'll help you. Can I have my ID? Like, there's no need for you guys to do this, though. You realize this, this is, like, weird. Okay. Because Here's I paid for my things. No, I paid for my things. If these aren't able to be used by a person that... I'm not... It makes no... Absolutely no sense. Have I stopped you from using it? You just told me... You just checked me, like, if I'm I stealing did. these things I, and I paid. No, and I'm you checking, saw my ID. I'm checking your age. You think the man didn't check it when, when I wrote it? How would he have been able like, to buy no them? sense, man. Honestly. Okay. If he wasn't the 21. Right there, and it okay. needs to be scanned. Yeah, so, that was so unnecessary. Yeah, you're just bothering me at this point. I have done nothing wrong. Will you call Coach Malik? Yeah, you should I call him, actually. Anything. It makes no sense. Bro, just go, bro. Just, just go, bro. Just go. This male Karen wasn't following the same rules as everybody else, and other customers in the store called him out for it. He then got confrontational with one in particular, where he stated he was going to meet him outside and beat him up. Let's have a look. Now I ain't waiting to that on him. Get on him. Yeah, now it's okay for him. Shut the hell up and get away from me. Yeah, I'll beat you outside. Yeah. I do so. to embarrass him in front of everybody. This customer was extremely angry that he was accused for this as he didn't actually steal anything and had a receipt. He then completely snapped at this manager and a screaming match from across his Walmart ensued. Things escalated as the manager wouldn't admit fault and the gentleman hadn't actually done anything wrong and wanted an apology. Let's have a look. Call the police. You have my items. I already paid for it, sweetheart. I already paid for it already. I already paid for it. I can't, rec it's public, I can't record whatever I want. You want to talk back to me, I'm going to have this all on tape. I already paid for it. I paid for everything. I'm not putting my phone down. I paid for everything already. I was walking out and I showed him it's not working. What? Call the police. I'm done. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not getting my phone down. I'm not getting my phone down. Oh. No. Nope. I'm going to call the police. Hey, I'm done. Call the police. I need my stuff. I already paid no, for this. He's not going to take anything before the I already paid for this. He's not going to take anything before the police. I don't want a refund. I already paid for this. Here, get out from the Show me this receipt. Now it's there. Just refund it. I don't want a refund. I want my I want my stuff. I already paid for it. Commerce, I need someone here because the customer is not the video. Go ahead. Commerce, Commerce Pontia. Yep. This Karen was not following the same rules as everybody else when she was trying to pick up the items from the store that she needed, but was denied entry. They informed her that they could actually pick up the items on her behalf and literally bring them to her car, which she wasn't happy with, and tried calling the police instead. Let's have a look. Yeah, or online, there's online grocery pickup as well, man. 
There's multiple ways to get around your your conditions. So. Yeah, you're just refusing to acknowledge. You're just refusing to acknowledge the policies that have been put in place to cater to you. Yes, they would have if you ordered your groceries online and picked them up. If I were you, I would close my mouth because everything's going on tape. You know how many people we deal with that are just like you, man? Okay, so this angry customer was demanding a refund, but they were struggling to validate the receipt she had bought in and couldn't confirm the authenticity of the purchase. The employee actually had to get the manager over because before this employee could even look into her refund, she started screaming at him and abusing him as well. The manager came over and tried to de-escalate the situation, politely asking her to calm down. Let's have a look. My taxes is on there. Manager, I don't have nothing to do with that. My, no, I, I gave you my car and my ID, and that's all you needed to know. My credit card and my ID, don't touch my I gave him my credit card and my ID. Everything matches and everything is the same. And my taxes is on there. I don't have nothing to do with that. Right, I don't know what happened. I don't have nothing to do with Green Dot. That's my tax That's my tax money. Okay, this is first, first. Yeah. Yes. I don't know what, what he's talking about. I purchased that. I bought it. Okay, you need to calm down because you're getting loud for no reason. For absolutely no reason. Okay, well, my money is. Okay. I don't so, give a f. I don't care who you call. I don't care what happened. I, I will leave this motherfucker though. Because he just took my mother this lady wasn't happy with the purchase of her new phones she decided to come back to the store and harass the employee she even got face to face behind the counter with him touching him and trying to grab his property let's have a look you owe me a phone and you, you took my money and what's wrong with you this is customer yeah. customer that's fine you and I'll tell you, I'm not finished with you yet. How dare you take 200 euros from me? customers. Yeah, take it. You just go to customers. You don't come in. Please don't come in. What's wrong with you? And I take the keys, eh? And I'll have the keys of this. Are you crazy? No, you are. You took my 200 pounds. 200 euros. Yep. And this. And these will make up 200 euros. Mm. I got most of this on camera anyway. This customer decided to put these employees on blast when she went to return an item and the employee literally said she just didn't feel like processing a refund at that time. You can only imagine how frustrating that would be to hear, so she decided to record them which they weren't very happy about and wanted her to leave the store. Let's have a look. What else the reason why when I you I can record anytime I want? Because this woman here, I asked her about returning, she said off the top of my head I don't feel like returning. No, you said I can record anybody I want. He works for Walmart. You said what now? I couldn't come over here. When I came, when you walked up to me, I said, let me explain to you what happened. You said, no, I'm telling you what's happening. I'm telling you what she said. Okay, and I said, where in the policy does it say if that's been worn? It says nowhere on their store policy if it has been worn. It says you have the right to decline. You have the right to decline. And it also says right here, customer satisfaction. It also says that customer satisfaction. And when I came, when I tried to explain that to you, you came straight over here and had an attitude. Please stop recording me and move to the side. And, you, and what? Because you're making a scene right now. You I'm making a scene because yes, you came over here and didn't ask me as a customer what happened. You came over here and said, this is what I already know. She already told me what happened. No, I'm not doing this. And no, I'm not doing that. I don't care about making a scene. It's the fact of the, it's the, fact of the matter. You're rude as hell. That's the fact of the matter. Get out. Get whatever. Make me get out. I have a return policy. Call the police for what? Call the police for what? Because I'm talking to you. 
you. I'm trying to talk to you, you, to talk to you and you got above me. What? No, I'm not being insulting. No, you're not I tried to talk you're to you in a calm manner. You wouldn't even let me explain what was going on. Whatever. I'm not going anywhere. Calm. Okay, so this lady had her kids running around in the store, often doing their own thing. The gentleman managing the store asked politely for her kids to stay with the parent, as he didn't want them picking up items and moving things around, as they obviously weren't going to buy them. This lady stampeded to the counter to confront the employee who told her kids not to touch things, telling this manager that he's not allowed to tell her what to do. Let's have a look. Hello. What was that? You said don't touch, don't touch nothing? I, I just don't allow the kids to, you know, stray away from the parents so that they won't, you know. Okay, she was right there with me. She, I I, mean, I, look, I, as a parent, I, I wouldn't, I don't like it as much as the next person, but as my story, you know, I, I just, you know, like to keep things, you know, kind of clean and neat. Oh, so. okay, because as a person, you don't tell people don't touch it, don't do that. We're customers here, we're paying, that's why you have a job. Ma'am, I, I was just being nice. You weren't being people, nice. I wasn't being ugly. Either. You were being ugly. Have a good night, ma'am. You were being like, I'm buying that. No, no, I'm not going to sell it to you. I don't have, as a store manager, I don't have to sell to you. Okay, then what's your corporate number? Uh, it's 100 Shop CBS. And what's your name, Ray? My name is Ray. Okay, yes, because I have you recording that. I also have you recording how you told me over there. I was being recorded with you. This Karen's attitude was so appalling that she was actually kicked out of the store. She refused to leave though, so the manager decided to take her handbag and walk it out of the store in an attempt to make her follow it. That's when she decided to lean over the counter as well, among other things. Let's have a look. World star. <laughs> World star, baby. Walgreens for you. Okay, so these friends were walking into a store when this Karen in a parking lot decided to call them out for what they were wearing, as if it's any of her business what other people wear. That's when this Karen was so enraged by it that she actually followed them into the store to continue abusing them and trying to tell them how to dress. Let's have a look. Calls for the streets again. Do it again. Do you think you're funny? I do. Well, you said I'm for the streets. You just keep laughing because I'm not laughing. I feel sorry for you. you I'm a little so, girl like Joey. Like you're mad at what we're wearing. The <laughs> dress appropriate. Those are. No, we look better than you. Excuse me. Excuse I'm me. I'm, I'm being like your mom telling you that you should. You think you're not my like, mom? Like, That's yeah. good. You're you not her mom funny? though. I do but think I'm. I'm gonna act like one because you girls need it. You don't walk around town in a. Okay, like. Why you okay? Why you want to be in our business? We didn't bother you. Why you gotta bother you us? You literally were walking. You're sitting in your car. Go put a shirt on. Go put a shirt on and act right. Okay? Go put a shirt on and act right. No. Come on. Yes, I have three little girls that are growing up looking at you. Okay, they can look at us. Yeah, you can look at them. Are you talking to me? Are you serious? Shut up. Go home. Why are you even here? Thank you. And I'm on my phone. This lady was trying to refund an item with her receipt, but because her attitude was too poor for the service that she required, the employee decided to deny her it and walk away from the situation, leaving this Karen without her refund. Let's have a look. Here. I'm sorry, I have a receipt. Call AP. I have a receipt. That's fine, and I'm calling AP. Why? And I'm calling AP. Put Why are you talking to me like that? I said just give me the refund. You threw it at her. I didn't throw. How could I throw a box? You threw it at her. I threw you what? Threw a receipt at her, ma'am. A receipt. A piece it of paper? Matter. You threw it at her. Why are you yelling at me? Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling at me? Oh, now you want to play the innocent role. No, I'm, I'm asking you why you're yelling at me. I'm the customer. Whatever. I'm a customer, Peggy. Well, wow, you're a manager? Yeah, wow. And what are you? I'm a person. I'm a customer. I just want a refund for what I bought no, the other day. You threw it at her and I, she said, no, are you the recording? I didn't camera? throw anything at anyone, honey. You can't throw a a shampoo or a, a someone. 
This Karen was inside of this Dollar General store and her card was declined when she tried to purchase some items. Instead of trying to retry the card or maybe accept that she didn't have the money for the items, she actually took this out on the employees and blamed them for it, stating that it was their fault and then hurling all sorts of abuse towards them. This Karen then became extremely heated. Let's have a look. Get you go to school. Do you know what that means? Leave me the hell alone. Leave me alone. Jesus, you ought to listen to yourself sometimes. I was nice about it when I came in and asked for it. I don't want your help. I don't want your help. Get your supervisor. I don't want the manager. I say supervisor. God, girl, do you know how to shut up? Ma'am. I don't want your help. Do you understand? Yes, I do. You won't shut up. You don't have to shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It's completely uncalled for you to keep her this male Karen was having a total meltdown when he was told to go one place and then another. He didn't want to stand still, he just wanted to get out of there, but it was a total nightmare for him which sent him into a total rage. Let's have a look. This Karen came into the store looking for a fight when she wasn't following the same rules as everybody else. She came face to face with an employee who told her to leave several times, and this Karen literally refused to do so, leaving her with no choice but to call the authorities. Let's have a look. Please leave. What you are, are not you doing? Here. What are you doing? You are, you not, are well. not well. You are not this well to be doing this. Just so you know, there are cameras all over the store. Hey. There's also cashiers. You're here. harassing me. I am Get away from me and my child. You're not we don't need to put a mask on. I cannot believe that you have the goal and the nerve to try and make somebody do something outside of their own will. It is a private business. Would you like to see the law? Yes. Okay. Come to the office with me. No. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're insane. Get out. You're not an authority figure. No, you're not. No, you're not. I am the manager, manager of grocery outlet. You're not an authority figure. Get out of this store. What? Oh my gosh, did you see that? I'm this lady was trying to double dip on her prescriptions when Walmart called her out stating that she'd already picked them up. She acknowledged this and intentionally picked them up from another store so they weren't going to give her more, which was a problem for her, which led to this argument back and forth between the employees. Let's have a look. That means you don't understand what's going on. You can't give me no customer service. That's what I mean. I need to figure this out with you. Well, that's why you can't figure That's why you can't help me because you can't figure it out. I know I picked it up. I picked it up at Walmart. What the hell they got to do with this? He gave me enough to carry me to find another doctor. Because here's the deal. If I'm on a controlled substance and I fire you, you can't, you can't, you got to give me enough medicine to carry me until I find another doctor. Whether you know that or not. Because if our relationship ends, okay, you, and I got, you got the document, you got to give me time to find another doctor or I can report you to the patient fusion, I can report you to the state medical board, because you left me hanging. You cannot leave a patient hanging on a control. Yeah. A person can walk up into that and be a I, I really can't do that. I cannot go in. Then it ain't no policy. If it ain't in writing, you coming can't back. give me nothing in writing. Coming back. She coming back. She ain't gone. You can't, and you can't get back to your job until you satisfy one person. You don't, you don't go on to something else. I don't care what you got to do. Your job is customer service. 
Okay, so this employee had ordered some Uber Eats delivery and when she had received her meal, she decided to report it that it wasn't delivered. This obviously affects the delivery driver and for this reason, the delivery driver decided to turn around and confront the employee who stated that she did not get her items after it was clearly delivered to her. This person instantly regretted that decision and wasn't expected to get confronted for it. Let's have a look. Excuse me. I was just wondering why you um, said that your food never got delivered when I handed it to you. So you did a... Oh yeah, it definitely does. And it's like, that's, that's fraud. And now I might get charged for it. It says that you reported that I never delivered your food to you. I didn't report that. Well, uh, according to my... I customer right now. Okay, that's fine. But I was saying it's, it's, it's fraud and stealing. I'm sorry, but you know, when, when I'm, when I'm getting in trouble for my job, but go ahead. I apologize, ma'am, because you had the nerve to report your food as never being received. So I can get in trouble and have to pay for it or lose my job. I did not report nothing. If you have a problem, you need to contact DoorDash instead of coming in my job. Well, don't report it as being. Okay. Well, like I said, you need to go. So you're saying you got your food. You need to leave me alone. That's what I'm saying. You're saying you got your food? Police. That's fine. And if you can talk to me. I'm going to call the police. So please leave That's my fine. job. Please. Just I just need you to say that you got your food. I need you to leave my job. You can call the police. We can talk about fraud and all I that. I don't care what we can talk about, lady. You're in my job of business. Leave me alone. Period. This lady had booked her flight on an overbooked airline and when she arrived, they decided to sell her a seat to somebody else. She obviously wasn't happy about this and that's where the dispute begun, but this employee claims that it's out of their control and didn't want to help the lady. An argument begun when tensions rose as she wasn't going to get her way and the employee just flat out didn't want to help her. Let's have a look. What do you mean by you're done with me? Ma'am, you're not going to sit here and try to record stuff and try to act like- No, seriously, what are you? What do you mean by you're done your with me? Your ticket is in point because you're being a disruptive passenger. How am I being a disruptive passenger Ma'am, you, you can literally step over there, I'm never going to speak to you and I'm definitely you not going to speak to you if you have me on your phone, on your camera. Oh, because you don't want me to record how rude you've you been You can record me? whatever you want to be. You were the last one to check in, you were denied party, I did not, I so checked in an all. hour and a half ago. And I told you then that you were the very last one and you would probably not get a seat because the flight was over so. This flight is delayed by an hour and a half. Regardless you of that, sold. you were the last one to check in and the flight was over I so have now. a I have an email confirming Step away from my that counter, the ticket I'm asking you not that to I would get a me. ticket. I'm asking you to not record me. Step away Is from that my a law counter. in Texas that I can't record you in public? Step away from my counter. That I can't record you in public? Step away from my counter. Oh, okay. Tell me tell me more. You can sit here all you want to. Your ticket is canceled. If you want to stand here, I'll call security and I can have you removed. Those are your choices at this point. Because I'm bothering you. You're being a disruptive passenger. How am I being? So you can flip it however you want to. How am I being? You're being a disruptive passenger, and you are done. Thank you. Have a nice day. How am I being disruptive? If I see you over here in five minutes, I will be calling security on you. Have a nice day. Are you kidding me? Look at this. There is no one here. Absolutely no one here. Look at this. I'm being disruptive. Okay, so this Karen was inside of a McDonald's and he was not happy with the weight required for his order. This Karen went up and started harassing the employees and pointing fingers, demanding to have his food immediately. When things didn't go his way, this Karen started abusing everybody and freaking out in the store. This Karen was recorded for his behavior and it wasn't long until the manager had to intervene and ask him to leave the premise. Let's have a look. I'm not leaving without my food. Okay, I'm sorry. What do you want a refund for? Chicken and please. Cole! This is for you. I'm not going to have an employee hey, yelling hey, at me hey, hey, in your kitchen for no reason. There's kids, yeah, there's kids in here. Don't be yelling, please. Please. There are kids in here. Just Cole, don't go around here. Are you cussing? I understand that. Your employee has no chicken biscuits. What else? Chicken biscuits. What else? Chicken biscuits. Because he's scared that we're yelling. Could we just take it down a notch, please? Beth, where's the chicken McGriddle on here? Thank you. Okay. I don't okay, need breakfast, so. All right, chicken McGriddle and what else? Uh, two hash browns. I understand. I get it. All right. I, I, I everybody I that's it. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, you got you like a job and I can hire you. I'm sorry. I make money. I have a real job. Okay. Right, five eighty-seven. Let's just stop. I'm just gonna see. <laughs> 
This difficult customer was at a McDonald's and he was demanding a refill. Apparently they don't do refills for customers and he had stated that he hadn't even left the store and thought that there was enough reason for him to get a refill when they don't do that. The gentleman is confused and believes that they give refills to people who are in the store and believes that they think that he walked in off the street and is just trying to get a free soda. Let's have a look. Record. I don't give you permission to record me. I uh, look, I'll, I just come through the door. To, I'm not even finished with my drink. And she tells me I can't get a refill. I never left the premise. Huh? I didn't even ask for any question. But I didn't. My drinks. Look. Look, he's getting a refill, but I can't get one. He, look, I can't get a refill. She's threatening to call the cops. What's your name? What is your name? Don't worry about my name. I asked her for a card. She tells me the numbers on my car. And look, they're calling the police on me for trying to get a refill. And this is, I haven't even finished. I haven't even, I haven't even finished. Look, I haven't even, I haven't even finished my drink. Look, she's threatening to call the cops. She's calling the cops. I never left the parking lot. So, I never, how am I leaving the, I never left the premise if I was just. So, but there's no sign posted saying, where's the sign? Can I, can I have a refill? Can I have my, can I have my first, can I have my first refill? I will be contacting the corporate. I'm gonna send this right to corporate. And what's your, what is your name? Okay, so this male Karen had just left a food store when he had been caught shoplifting by an employee. Now the employee had followed him out and demanded to see what was inside of his backpack, which this male Karen obviously wasn't going to let him see. That's where this employee snatched his backpack and dropped all of his items across the floor, exposing and humiliating this thief for stealing a bunch of meats, chocolates, and snacks. Let's have a look. <laughs> Okay, so this male Karen was not following the rules in place at this pizza shop and for this reason he was denied service and asked to leave the premise. He obviously had a total meltdown over this and refused to leave the store, resulting in no pizza but also a ban from the store just after he finished abusing them. Let's have a look. Go ahead and tell me what you just told me. Wear a mask. Uh, can I get a pizza please or can you call the owner? Can I get a pizza, please? Can I get a pizza, please? I'm in here. Can I please get a pizza or can you call your manager? Call the manager, please. Can you please call the owner? Can you call the owner? You don't get to ask me to wear a mask. I don't care what you want. You need to do your job. Please do your job. Please do your job. No, you're not. There's no law. That's not the law. Show me, show me the bylaw. There, you just, you just lost another one. Oh Lord, can I get a pizza, please? Can I get a pizza, please? Can you call your manager, please? Can you please call the owner, please? Can you serve me a pizza, please? Can you, can you serve me? So you're discriminating against me. Is that what you're saying? What am I discriminating against? Can you serve me, please? Can you do your job or can you call a manager, please? Wow, you don't, wow, good customer service. I can't believe this. What's your, what's the number to your manager? This Karen was inside of this Dollar General store and her card was declined when she tried to purchase some items. Instead of trying to retry the card or maybe accept that she didn't have the money for the items, she actually took this out on the employees and blamed them for it, stating that it was their fault and then hurling all sorts of abuse towards them. This Karen then became extremely heated. Let's have a look. Did you go to school? Do you know what that means? 
Leave me the hell alone. Leave me alone. Jesus, you ought to listen to yourself sometimes. I was nice about it when I came in and asked for it. I don't want your help. I don't want your help. Get your supervisor. I'm the, I'm the manager. That's why I, I don't want the manager. I say supervisor. I'm God, girl, girl, do you know how to shut up? Ma'am. No, no, ma 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 I don't want your help. Do you understand? You yes, I do. You won't shut up. But you don't have any disrespect. You don't have any disrespect. Shut up. Ma'am, if you're saying it, then you Shut up. Shut up! Yes, you do. Yes, you do. No, she don't. No. It's completely uncalled for you to keep her resting. This Karen was in a coffee store and she was creating hell and throwing things around. She was abusive to just about every employee, getting extremely aggressive with them and in their faces. She was then denied service and asked to leave the premise, which she refused to do, and stated that if they wanted her out of the store, they would have to call the authorities on her to get her to leave. Let's have a look. Call the police! Because I'm not getting back down here until you call the police. Call the police! Just treat me in your Call the police! Call the police. Call the police. You're wasting, you're wasting my time. Call the police. Black Lives Matter. Call the police. I'm not gonna hit anybody. Guys, call the police. Make my. This entitled Karen was holding up this line at this Taco Bell so that he could abuse the employees and he was dealt with by some instant karma. That's when the employees gave it back to him, which this entitled customer was not expecting as he was sitting there berating this employee for quite some time and then had to take the same abuse back, leaving him humiliated in front of everybody. Let's have a look. No, nobody asked if everything was right on the screen. I ordered chicken tacos, and I double checked when I got to the window. No, so I'm not going to calm down. I got it. You don't I understand. You don't. I do. I do. Not, I really you don't, don't understand agree. how serious this I is. Understand that. You don't understand that. Huh? I didn't, I didn't ask you to come over here. I just asked for my manager. I'm being very rude. Mother, come on, come on. No, come on. I need you to go to the back. You can't say things like that. That's really disrespectful to my manager. I don't appreciate that. We don't appreciate that here. We got short staff. I'm over here coming in on the record that's out of the mind. I'm trying to help you out going through it. You didn't, you didn't come over to help me out, buddy. This incredibly offensive Karen profiled this gentleman at this convenience store before things escalated quickly. This Karen was incredibly offensive and even got confrontational with him when she put his hands on him. This all unfolded in front of her grandchild as this entitled Karen tried to get her away but it was inevitably denied access from the store. This Karen then took this rage to the parking lot and she did this. Have a look. Okay, I don't care if you don't like my shirt. Are you really? Right now? I'm not saying a word. You are. No, you are. You want me to no, take my shirt off? I'm not saying a word. I'm not going to take my shirt Hi. off. Hi. Hi. I'm going to ask her out that door myself. Later. Let's go. Oh, it's a hey, okay, you know what? Don't come back either. Have a nice day. Oh, oh shit. Oh, here. Of course, you stay right here. What did you say? You heard me. You heard me. I'm just give You're me not, no, shit. No. You stay right here. Up. Stay you. You're right. You're right. 
You gonna say that in front of my daughter? You gonna say that in front of my daughter? Her mother's black. You don't say that. Shut up. I wish you would touch me. Shut up. This entitled Karen stampeded to the front of the counter demanding a refund for her item she had purchased. This Karen had came into the store earlier and purchased two loaves of bread only for them to be burnt and not edible. This Karen demanded not only a refund but also compensation for the inconvenience and that's where the abuse started. Let's have a look. Money. Straight up. Refund me my money. Refund me my money. Straight up. Refund me my money. Straight up. Refund me my I called the call, call, okay? Listen, I ordered yesterday at 1.30. Hold on, hold on. Pardon? We can't, because we need your order. Okay, and like I said to him, I want a refund because when I got your crazy bread, they were burnt. And I took pictures of them, and I showed him. Sorry, I'll give you this call. Pardon? Oh, no, uh, there is a customer trying to like pack me. Oh, well, refund me then. See, refund I, me. We are already out here, so. Okay, I bought two crazy crates. Six dollars in the change. So, can you me my money? I got two crazy breads, the two for six dollars. Yes. Okay, so I would like my refund. They were both burnt. Would you like to see them? I just showed him, and he don't, he's sitting here laughing in my face like I'm a fing joke. I tried to guess it's not okay, so this Karen was actually caught using a stolen credit card to try to purchase some items. She was stopped in her tracks when she was caught and exposed for this, and she tried to make a quick getaway out of the store. That's when the security decided to stop her in her tracks and lock the doors, preventing her from leaving until the authorities showed up and arrested her. Let's have a look. Yo, please get me out of here, y'all, please! Please! Hurry up and get me out of here, please! Yes! Yes, they said the card is fake. And they got my ID and everything. He's, he's serious, he said that card is fake. He took my ID! Yes! Please get me out of here! No, please! The police want to get you out of here, of course. Why do you think that's right? Please get me out of here! I'm in PC Richards by the door! They not even let me through! They got my passport and everything! Please get me out of here! Please! Please hurry up and get me out of here! I'm not gonna touch you, sir! Please hurry up and get me out of here now! Okay, so this Karen was being an incredibly difficult customer at this fast food restaurant. Not only was she not following the same rules as everybody else, but she was actually complaining about how long it was taking to get her food, even though they were still politely serving her when she wasn't following the rules. She then turned to the other customers and tried to encourage them to not follow the rules as well, which didn't end very well for her. Let's have a look. This Karen was at a fast food restaurant and she wasn't happy with the quality of her food and demanded a refund. Unfortunately, when they process a refund as she had paid with her debit card, they have to put the money back on the card and can't give her cash. This was a huge problem for this Karen as she needed the money and she couldn't wait the one to two days to receive the money back on her card. Let's have a look. So I just want verification that the only way for me to get a refund on those two crispy chicken sandwiches that are not edible is for you to do a refund, which will take three to five, possibly seven to 10 business days 
for me to get the credit back and then for you to recharge me. So basically charging me $60 for food that's not edible instead of giving me a refund. And I am, again, I am recording because this is not customer service. This is not customer service. You guys should not have to charge me $60. I do not want to be recorded. I don't care if you want to be recorded. So yes, sir, I am recording and I want verification. I want a refund on those. Those are not edible. I have more over there that I have spit out. She's telling me the only way for you guys to refund me on that is to give me a refund on my card, which will take three, five, seven, ten business days, and for you guys to charge my card again, which would be a sixty dollar, a sixty dollar hold basically for Burger. Okay, so this Karen was profiling an employee for quite some time when he demands to know his information and where he's from. This Karen is not happy with the country that this gentleman was from because apparently he has conflicts with them in the war and then proceeds to go on a very offensive tirade towards him. Things got so out of hand that this random lady actually had to get in between them and intervene. Let's have a look. So you're your, your boss, Ryan, what's your name? Mo? What the kind of name is that? What's your actual real name? Mo what? Alright, you know what? You know what? I really don't give a what somebody has to say. I really don't give a about somebody in Arab that I've been killing their kind for six months. Okay. Almost two, actually, Super nice. two years. Six months of the last country I was in. Because okay. people like this are the reason our country's going what it's going to. Because I've been killing his kind for longer than you've probably been alive. I'm older than you do. How old do you think you are? How old do you uh, think how I am? How old do I think I am? I'm 55 years old. That's cute. Okay. His kind, I've been killing for almost 20 years. I've been on five different continents. Hence the reason he brought his uncle to come hand for him. Okay, so this Karen was inside of this convenience store and she was being very difficult towards this employee. This Karen became very belligerent and also started abusing this employee before asking this gentleman what country he's from when he was quite literally from America just like this Karen. This employee doesn't take this lightly though and actually calls this Karen out before putting her in her place. Let's have a look. Yes, it just says 49 cents. You, you heard me. You asked, I asked you what country you're from. That says exactly what it says. What did you say? It doesn't say that. Did you say what country I'm from? Yeah. I said that you can't understand that English written right up there. Miss, I have lived in America just like you did. Now get out my store. Boo. Get out my store. I'll just be problem oh, yeah? Boo. Guess it's a dollar 20 cents boo you're white trash white trash white trash okay so this Karen found herself arguing with several other customers and even getting in their face and very confrontational this Karen started going one by one and abusing everybody around her before mocking them for their orientation and also just what she assumed of the other people Let's have a look are you a girl? are you like it up no. Oh? No, you look like you like it up Are you okay? You're not okay. For them to sit there and this boy walk in here with no money, you're not a good guy. I didn't even come in here with him. Well, then go and back the up. Are you going to go drive your car right now? Do you want to talk? Do you want to do something about it? I don't know. Maybe we should get the car. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get him. Let's do it. Get it. Get it. Let's she should, honestly. So you're going to go hurt somebody if you drive your car. Come on, let's do it. We should do it. Let's do it. I'll do it for you. Whatever you do want. Do it. Go ahead. You should do it. What the f are you? Are you, are you even dressed? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, how much more can I wear to be dressed? I mean, you like anyone that's in a trailer park. Like, you grew up in a trailer park. I look like I'm in a trailer park. Little, little trailer. Oh, God. You would know, right? Imagine being so petty that you tried to get a refund by abusing the employee and sent her into such a justified meltdown that the employee quit right in front of you. This customer from hell sent this employee into a complete and total rage when she quit the store and then the customer even followed her out and continued abusing her. Let's have a look. Are you happy now? 
Are you happy? You see how upset I am? Coming in here being nasty to me. Oh my God, here, take seven dollars. Here, you know what, I don't even care. Just take it all. Take it the off. Here. Good language, good I, language. I quit, I quit, lady. Good language. I quit. Okay, so this lady was returning some items she had purchased when she met a very difficult employee who refused to process her return. Things got ugly quickly and this employee even states that the customer was only giving her a hard time because of the color of her skin. Let's have a look. What did I say to harass you? You hate white people, okay? Because you watch CNN said, all day long. Did I say that I hate white yeah, people? Yeah, you hate white people because I could see it in your wow. face you were causing trouble. You're wow. so desperate to return. I should not even return these. This is against store policy. No, it's not. It is. It's not. I just bought you those products to, last no, week. No, person. I know you are. Just wow. you're coming this is, in here. You're this having is a how, bad day. Wow. This is how broke. people. This Come is how on. they I talk to customers does this. in the Cosmo Pro of uh, King of Prussia. I cannot wait to share this. Go ahead. Do you think I care? And I will be showing your manager as well. Go ahead. I sure will. I sure will. God bless you. You need prayer. Don't you ever insult my faith again by insulting me and telling me I need You're not acting like a Christian I woman. Prayer. I don't know what your faith is. I said is, my prayer. But I serve God, I and here. this is not the way that God's people treat other people. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give you 20 bucks. I want you out of my store. Okay, so this angry customer was waiting 45 minutes for her food and decided to take her anger out on the front counter employee who doesn't even make her food. After belittling and abusing the staff member and raising her voice at her for some time, the manager overheard the conversation and intervened. That's when this manager came over and completely put this Karen in her place while she defended her employees and told this angry customer to get out of there and refused her service. Let's have a look. Okay, so this Karen had bought some earrings and she had actually broken them trying to put them into her ear. Now, she had tried to return the earrings and get her money back, except there were a couple of problems with the transaction. This Karen did not have a receipt, but this nice employee was still trying to help her. Let's have a look. Give me my card back and give me my $16 back. However, you can figure that out. Or there's gonna be help. Okay, I'm gonna call, call. They just took $16 from me and can't put it I'm back on my car. The earring broke gonna be, in I my know, ear. I know you're a customer, but hang on. Can you please don't don't make me a voice that hire I'm so nervous for now. I'm upset. I'm violated that this broke in my ear and I can't get my $16 back. I think everybody understands that. I think that she's trying to figure it out so you can get your money back and get out of here. And quit being so rude. We'll see how rude I can be. I think I already did. Okay, get worse. Ooh. Well, uh, how could I not be in your business? Everyone in here is in your business. Okay, so this lady had called earlier trying to get some meat and she was put on hold. For this reason, she rushed down to the store and started abusing the employees. This lady was extremely arrogant and belligerent towards these employees and abused them all because she was put on hold. This Karen then realized she was being recorded and turned her focus on the recordee before bending over and giving her something to record. Let's have a look. Hey, 
No, oh, you're back. I, I tried to tell you to be about it. You hour. tried. You it's tried to I intimidate me from the minute I walked in here. Uh, it doesn't uh, take an hour and a half to get some meat and a hamburger. Liar, that wasn't your, that no, I'm not lying. Liar. That's why I call it exit spell. I'm going to have to ask you to I'm done right now. I'm recording you, just so you know. Go ahead. Because this, you should be humiliated. I'd hate to be your husband. Right here. Okay, there we go. Let's get it. Record that right there. I am. Go if ahead. you touch, call the police. Call the police. Now. If you touch me, I'm calling the police. Call the police. Touch call them. Call them. You need to help. For what? Get out. Go away, you weirdo. I ain't a weirdo. You're a weirdo with a phone. Yeah. I'm afraid you're gonna hit somebody. Poor man. You should have heard him on the phone. Okay, so this lady had her kids running around in the store, often doing their own thing. The gentleman managing the store asked politely for her kids to stay with the parent, as he didn't want them picking up items and moving things around, as they obviously weren't going to buy them. This lady stampeded to the counter to confront the employee who told her kids not to touch things. Let's have a look. Hello. What was that? You said don't touch them. Don't touch nothing. I just don't allow the kids to, you know, stray away from the parents so that they won't, you know. Oh, because she was right there with me. She, I mean, I, look, I, as a parent, I, I wouldn't, I don't like it as much as the next person, but as my story, you know, I, I just, you know, like to keep things, you know, kind of clean and neat. Oh, so. okay, because as a person, you don't tell people don't touch it, don't do that. We're customers here, we're paying, that's why you have a job. Ma'am, I, I was just being nice. You weren't being they, nice. I wasn't being ugly. Either. You were being ugly. Have a good night, ma'am. You were being a I'm buying that. No, no, I'm not going to sell to you. I don't have, I, as a store manager, I don't have to sell to you. Okay, then what's your corporate number? Uh, it's 100 Shop CBS. And what's your name, Ray? My name is Ray. Okay, yes, because I have you recorded now. I also have you recorded how you told me over there. I was being recorded with you. This woman entered this bakery and she had an agenda she wanted to push because upon entry she was asked to leave because she wasn't following the store rules. She refused to follow those rules and just wanted to give this employee a hard time when she started comparing following the rules to some of the worst things in history. Let's have a look. I don't. I don't wear a mask. I'm sorry, we're not serving people without masks. You're not serving people? That's discrimination? You want to discriminate? Well, is it a law? Should we call the sheriff and ask him to explain the law? My manager told me that. Well, then let's call law enforcement because this is a problem. This is not a law, and I am under no obligation to wear a mask. I'm sorry, it's just what my manager told us. So, in Germany, when your manager told you to like shove people in the ovens, you would do that, I guess? I'm asking a real question. You have ovens, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I will stand here until the law enforcement comes. Because I'd like to make a citizen's arrest of you. This is discrimination. I'm going to stand. This random person completely put this Karen in her place when she interrupted the conversation and had a justified meltdown at the Karen. This Karen was caught mid sentence calling the employee an idiot, among other things, to soon be put in her place and humiliated in front of everybody. Let's have a look. Stupid discrimination. Hold on. Don't call nobody stupid. You looking like a goddamn lobster? Don't mother come up here disrespecting them. Now, if you gonna talk to them, talk to them with respect. With all that white privilege bull. Don't come in here talking to them up like that. Now, if he made a mistake, he can say he made a mistake. Now, take your long ass out that damn door. You get my hood. Like I said, you don't want to hear. You talking about? Click, click. What's up? What's up? I'm gonna pay a gym. I put a head on. That's your nose, all right? Don't lie to me. Apologize to the phone. Apo no, I don't do threats. I do promises. Okay, you do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, whatever. No, I'm talking to him. I don't care. I know you should have made a handkerchief out of your ass. A group of friends were staying at this hotel when they were disrespecting the employees. Enough was enough when the manager decided to intervene and completely put these kids in their place. This manager got confrontational with them and left them speechless when he got face to face with them and calling them out for their abusive behavior. Let's have a look. Hey. Don't push up my door. I'm who the you think you is, but don't push my door, brother. I'm not the one you think I am, brother. I will take 20 years of the military and beat your You understand me? Now, don't you ever disrespect nobody up in this hotel. You understand me? Because I'm not the one you think I am. 
You understand me? Yeah. Don't play with me, boy. Ain't no cameras out this. We ain't in the hotel no more. I'm recording you right now. What you do? Don't okay. Don't get out. Now home. get out my hotel. I am. Get out. I am. Walk away from me. No, get out. Because you don't have no room like, here, and you in here disturbing my thing. You cussing at my receptionist. I did not. You threatening my receptionist. Get out of here. Not, I did get not out. Turn her. I'm walking away. If you no, would. No, you ain't walking away. You standing you here. Would give me some Goodbye. space, Goodbye. dude. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, so this lady had called earlier trying to get some meat and she was put on hold. For this reason, she rushed down to the store and started abusing the employees. This lady was extremely arrogant and belligerent towards these employees and abused them all because she was put on hold. This Karen then realized she was being recorded and turned her focus on the recordee. Let's have a look. Uh, you're I, I tried to tell you to be about it. You all. tried. You I, tried I, I, to I intimidate me from the minute I walked in here. Uh, it doesn't uh, take an hour and a half to get some nah, meat and a hamburger. Well, that wasn't, you're, that no, I'm not lying. Not That's not why I call it exit I'm going to have to ask you why I'm done right now. I'm telling right now. I'm recording you, just so you know. Go ahead. Because this, you should be humiliated. I'd hate to be your husband. Right here. Okay, there we go. Let's get it. Record that right there. I am. Go if ahead. you touch me, the police. Call the police now. If you touch me, I'm calling the police. Call the police. Call them. Call them. You need help. For what? Get out. Go away, you weirdo. I ain't a weirdo. You're a weirdo with a phone. Yeah. I'm afraid you're going to hit somebody. Poor man. You should have heard him on the phone. It's okay. This woman came into this convenience store and she was actually quite abusive to the employee last week and for this reason the employee didn't want to serve her. This Karen found that incredibly offensive and demanded that this lady serve her even though every time she does she's just belittled and abused. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm adding folk stuff to stuff. I need to get it straight. No, I know people didn't, them people didn't, uh, them people didn't want, people don't folk stuff, I had to take that stuff home. Oh Lord. Don't say that, dude. <laughs> Why are you snatching from me? I didn't. Yes, you did. But no, it's okay. I didn't. She had a problem with me ever since I worked here, her and her brother. I, I, My husband, brother, you mean? A cousin or whatever he is to My husband. 13. Here you go, ma'am. I'm not giving them to her. 1364, debit, ma'am? Yes. Okay, Julie. I said hundreds, but I don't know. Well, you need a hundred to change account. I ain't fighting with her. Can I have the hundred inside of the shorts, please? You work here? Come right here and change them out, Julie. I, I can't deal with her. Here, you come and get them. <laughs> This group of friends actually got together and they had a big meal at a restaurant and when the bill arrived they actually sprung from their seats and fled without pain. This was an extremely pricey lunch so the restaurant wasn't too happy about the dine and dash but that was up until this group of friends had completely forgotten about their car keys, accessories and their wallets. Let's have a look. <laughs> This crazy Karen was inside of a pizzeria and she noticed somebody was in their military outfit. She claimed that this gentleman was a stolen valor before going up to this completely random stranger and putting her hands on him. She then sent herself into a total meltdown where she started claiming so many outrageous things and just being incredibly offensive to everybody. Let's have a look. This is disgusting. Disgusting. You're on camera. I would leave now before I yeah. call the police. Yeah. I will call the police yeah. if you don't leave. No, you are not permitted to grab yeah. my phone. You're not permitted to grab this hat. Yeah. I don't know where this behavior is coming from. And just let him be. Just let him be. Show his uniform. Show his uniform. Show his uniform. You disgrace the U.S. You disgrace the U.S.A. You put me on it. You put me on it. Put me on the freaking. Put me on. Put me on. Hey, Williams, can you, put me on. Can you give me Chief's number? 
Uh, That's Chief not a Chief uniform, Powers. you piece of Chief Powers. Apparently at this Kentucky Fried Chicken there was a difficult customer who wasn't eating his food and going on his way. He had the employees asking him to leave which he refused to do and that's when a bystander came over and hovered over him demanding that he eats his food and leave or will hand it over to him and it'll be taken from him. This left this difficult customer humiliated in front of everybody and had to give up his food. Let's have a look. All I'm trying to do is eat. That's all I'm trying to do. Like, you don't have to tell me what's gonna happen. Don't so, have something to say. I'm listening. Ain't got nothing good. to say. As long as we're no, done talking, I'm done talking. Now. Oh, okay. Hurry up and eat and get the Thank you. Hurry up and eat and get the out. I'm trying. Eat. I'm trying. Don't look at me. Eat at your. Look at your food. You're in my face. Look at your food. Now I'm sitting over you. Like, how are you okay doing this? I'm doing it. Don't make me rob you. Eat your food. Rob me you. of what? Eat your food. You want it? Take it. No, give it to me. Take it. Give it to me. Put it in my hand. For what? Put it in my hand. This angry customer was actually caught red-handed stealing by the employees. They reported him to the security guard who detained him, demanding for the items back, only for this male Karen who refused to give the items back, but also refused to leave the store. He was then exposed for stealing in front of everybody, and tried to get confrontation with the security guard, but was then put in his place. Let's have a look. It doesn't matter, Walgreens policy says that you are not allowed Walgreens to- Walgreens hired me. I don't work for Walgreens, you dummy. I'm contracted by another security company for Walgreens. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Walgreens doesn't pay me. Did, you see me did you see me steal anything? I was told by Trina that you were stealing. Okay. okay. So, so did once you... she tells me that you're stealing, and you don't hand me the product, and you put your hands on me, I you have every touched right. me and I took. I, I didn't touch you. I tried to grab the pills. So I you pushed me, then I slammed you. I just lost some candy, and they over there like play stupid games. You win stupid prizes. I play stupid games. Yep. You win stupid prizes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Booty. Mm -hmm. Put my pants on. I'm nope. <laughs> okay, so this Karen was demanding the numbers of corporate, which this employee did not have. This employee tried everything in her power to make this Karen's order right and give her the best service imaginable, but that wasn't good enough for this Karen and she wanted to take it to her higher ups, but the employee simply did not have the information she was seeking. Let's have a look. This lady came into this convenience store begging to use the bathroom, so the employee decided to let her use it. After she was finished with her business, he decided to check the bathroom afterwards and realized that she made no attempt to put her bathroom matter into the toilet and instead all over the walls and ceiling. Let's have a look. You touch me, you touch me, you get off. I do not put my hands on either one of you. If you were to understand my situation, email. I know, and you know. you can't use the bathroom, you can't use the bathroom. I mean, you're literally calling the cops because I used the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we just told you that our bathroom was closed. Damn, that's going to be I mean, I have, you don't understand how far I've walked just to get here. I, but if we tell you that our bathroom is closed, oh, ma'am, you cannot use our bathroom. Sir, it was an emergency. I, and I'm not going to have an emergency. It does, because you would have had shit all over me. No, you want to put shit on me? This Karen had ordered some pizza and basically they have a guarantee that if it is not delivered or given to the customer in a certain time frame that the pizza shouldn't be paid for. This Karen believes that they maliciously stopped the timer in order to give her her pizza, meaning she still had to pay for it when she didn't believe that she had to. This sent this Karen into a total meltdown and this huge argument ensued. Let's have a look. The time 
that the pizza says ready on my pizza tracker. So if it doesn't come out to my car in two minutes, I get a free pizza. And we're asking you to please call corporate because we are extremely busy and we you have guys, no control what, over that. You guys stopped the timer saying that you brought it to me already when you no, didn't. We have to hit the timer before we leave the store. So what happens is when so you... So it, it took you two additional minutes to get out to my car so after you grab, hit the timer? So grab your sides and stuff or to check that we have everything. That's not how it works. Yes, that is how. Well, that is exactly how it works. Tracker, that's not how it works. If this is going to continue, we don't have time for this. We're going to walk away and continue making pizzas, please. So please call. Okay, so a group of friends were at a Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru, and when they received their meal, they also received it with a little bit of attitude, as they claimed that the employee threw the bag at them. The driver then parked her car and stampeded straight into the Dunkin' Donuts, where she threw some change and attitude back at the employee, and had a total meltdown at them as well. Let's have a look. What's your number? Yes, you just threw the bag at my friend. Yeah, you for no reason, like literally none. Hey, I know I want you. Come over here to me. You ain't never gonna come up in my face again, I promise you that. Nor will you slam something in my face. Do not speak to me like that. Excuse what? you? What? Excuse you? What's your issue? Like, what do no. we do to you? No, no, the he is not gonna throw, he is not gonna throw, throw my him. stuff at me or slam it in my face. We don't know him, we don't know him. I need him, him to calm down. What the I didn't say nothing to him, I told him not. You forgot our stuff. And he okay. proceeded to, to close the door in my face and slam it and then threw it at me. I threw it in my car. Really? I'm either going to call corporate or he needs to get fired. Okay, so these customers had a problem with their order and they tried to speak to the manager at the drive-thru only to be in for a rude awakening when this manager was not having it that day and completely abused them. This manager completely lost his call at them and even said some really derogatory terms towards them, which obviously shocked the customers as you wouldn't expect a manager to say something like this. Have a look. You're on video. What's your I name? Care. I'll give a no video. This ain't the first time I've been I on video. You just cussed at me and you're working. Why? Why? Because why? All right, fat what, what the f***? Why? Oh, oh hell. Oh, hell no. Let's, uh-uh. Did you call me? So you just called me a You called, called someone you a, a You're a fat Okay. We're, yeah, we're, 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 we're really fat That's the thing, though. You can't do that. So I don't give a You can't do that. I don't give a f***. Y'all look at nah. This you can't do that. So you can get the out of here. Man, You're stop. gonna lose your up. I hope you know that. I'm gonna have this on video and corporate's gonna see it. You hate it. Gonna, you're gonna be your going all over Okay, so this man was walking past a phone store and he noticed that there was people literally robbing it. He decided to stop and record these thieves, which actually sent the thieves into a total meltdown when they came outside of the store to confront him. They told him to stop recording immediately and got confrontational with him, only for him to hold his own and refuse to leave. Let's have a look. What are you doing, bro? Just wet no. Just wet no. Right, don't oh, bro. Sure, then. Don't just Get out of the shop, then. Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright. Move your camera, I swear down. What? Why are you moving the shop, then? Bro, move your bro. Just what? go and mind your own business, what do you mean? I swear down. Don't mind worry about business. me, bro. What's he doing? Go mind your business, bro. Don't worry about me, bro. I swear down. Bro. The shop, then. I'm telling you, bro. The shop, bro. Then. I will, I will. Oh, nothing's gonna happen, bro. Off, then. This entitled customer was actually caught stealing, and when she was caught and exposed for this, she decided to flip the store upside down before trying to make her a quick getaway. She was soon humiliated when she realized that the doors were completely locked from the inside, and she couldn't leave until the authorities showed up. Let's have a look. Bye bye. Ah, you going to jail? I don't give a call the laws on her. Ah, you're going to jail now. Ah, you'll get right when them laws come. <laughs> ah, you can't get a hat. You can't get a hat.
Bye bye. This Karen was having a total meltdown at this employee and was anything but happy about the result she got when the employee sat there laughing and smiling at her, which only sent this Karen into a bigger meltdown when she realized that she was not being taken seriously. Let's have a look. Program that the city face. It is not illegal to yell here. Excuse me, ma'am. You are help when you are visiting the city. Would you please ask your family to correct it? You have been fired and sued several times. I will not leave your store. You have been asked very loudly about your family's contracts. You do not live off this salary. Goodbye with the understanding. I ask quietly and it is not illegal to be loud. Oh, lady. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> These disgusting teenagers were actually going through a supermarket and opening up the drinks only to spit inside of the drinks and reseal them for other customers to purchase. This customer actually saw what was going on and confronted them for this, leaving them humiliated when they realized they couldn't run away from him and would have to pay for all of the items to be binned and reshelved. Let's have a look. Okay, so these little girls here yeah, have decided to drink this drink from there, put their mouth to it and stick that back on the shelf and they think it's okay to do that without paying for it, yeah? You think it's okay to do that? Oh, no, you no, you think it's okay to do that? No, no, I'm asking you. You think it's okay to you drink? You want it to go viral. No, 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 no. Uh, listen, it won't go viral. You think it's okay, you think it's okay to drink that and just put it there, like normal. My, someone like my daughter is gonna drink that, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna buy that, take it home. And no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that home and someone like yourself who's been drinking that, I'll put your mouth to it. Okay, so now. This male Karen came into this Popeyes demanding to speak to the higher ups immediately. That's all because he called the employee some of the worst names you have ever heard and then had a total meltdown that they would deny him service for it. He then aggressively approached the employees and even threatened to beat them up outside as well as other things. So let's have a look. I'm sorry, refund my meal. You want to talk to your boss? No. You want to talk to my, you for her call me? And what was you doing? I called her after she called me. You have a nice day. Call the cops. Call the cops. And you think I won't? Y'all, all you think this is acceptable? Huh? You. What's that? What's that? What's that? You. I think I say you're entitled to your own freedom of speech. You can call it as much as you want to call it. Right. He can't call me that. Your chicken. Your chicken getting cold, fat boy. Your chicken getting cold. Your chicken getting cold. Okay, so this lady was being a terrible customer and she was abusing the manager. That's when the higher up overheard the conversation and banned her from the store. It was then that she tried to backpedal and apologize, denying that she was being abusive or anything in that nature, which was too little too late as she was told to leave the store. Let's have a look. Okay. Are you You're the not manager? Gonna, yes, Are I you am. You're gonna come out? And I'll no, I can you? stand right here. Okay, then call the police because I was gonna talk. Ma'am, step out. Okay, then you're, you're not gonna me? disrespect my employees and think you can what come in. Do to you disrespected my manager. You're not coming in. Oh, then you're not the manager. You're not the manager. You disrespected the manager? one of my managers. Listen, I called her little girl. And that's inappropriate. That's not respectful. You don't speak to someone like that. She you don't is... speak to another adult like that. You're not allowed in the store. I will call the cops. Okay. No. Listen, listen. Okay. This is ridiculous. Okay. Listen. I know it's listen, not listen. worth it, but just, she just, needs just, to. Just, can you give me the, just, give me the store phone? Just, just, yeah. This customer was in an argument with the manager at this Kentucky Fried Chicken when things escalated quickly as this customer had a total meltdown at them. The manager wasn't expecting this customer to stand up for himself like this and put this manager in their place when he started raising hell and wouldn't leave the store. Let's have a look. Okay. Cheap giving my money. I gave it to you, give it back. All right. She's not the manager I am. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 What? Give me my money, lady. You took it. You ain't giving me my food. Listen here, sir. You're not going to get loud with me. I'm getting your money. Do you need to need to call the officer down here? Please. Call him. I will. Because you took my money and you ain't giving it back. You're playing games. Anything you want to give him to? Oh my lord. This person was caught in the act of stealing from this convenience store when the person started abusing the other staff and customers. On the way out though, the person was not expecting the store to lock their doors and keep them inside while they called the authorities on them. Let's have a look. 
Y'all dumb mother You was in here stealing. We was the stealing. Yeah, you was. You come up to me up here and ask. You was a dumb That's why you can't get out. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Line back of that hoe. I back. Line back of that hoe. Caught your dumb No, you're dumb. <laughs> you <laughs> mad as <laughs> Okay, why did Steve They got no proof They got no proof I had to put it in my pocket That in the room Bob yeah, okay, so this lady works at a Taco Bell and apparently the management is quite abusive towards her and very mean. She wasn't happy about this and after her shift went home crying only for her mother to grab her and bring her back to the store so that her mother could put her abusive employees in their place. This mother demanded to know what the situation was. Let's have a look. Or something like you're, and I come here every day and I work my off in this place every day, but I get disrespected and y'all don't do nothing. Take me off the schedule. I'm done with Taco Bell. Please here. Apparently, it's not the first time because this ain't the first time I've heard about it. But being that she's 18 and you don't put your hands on mine, what I have legal custody, I will walk up in this place. So whatever type of management deal that you're running up in here or training, you better get it under control. You better get under control. That's exactly what you're not gonna do. Is answer me because I will walk your up in here because you don't put your on my sister, and I will walk your back. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Let that be the last mother that you put your mother hands on, or I guarantee your will be able to walk no goddamn more. I tell you that much. I tell you that. Touch another person up in here with your mother. 18 thinking you running something at Taco Bell, making minimum wage? Girl, you better get your like Call whoever the this Starbucks employee was actually being belittled and abused by a 10 year old girl. This employee decided enough was enough when she gave the same attitude back to this young lady, only for her to run off crying to her mother. That's when the mother ran over and abused this employee, stating that nobody will talk to her child like that and only they can talk down on other people. Let's have a look. Seriously. Uh, what can I get for you guys? No, <laughs> they no one going doing nothing until they bring a supervisor over here. And I'm dead serious. She's disrespecting a 10 year old. So I need a supervisor now. Because I wasn't being rude to you. I wasn't yelling at you or nothing. But once you disrespect my child, then yes, I have a problem. I was being very respectful to you. I wasn't raising my voice okay. or nothing. But you're gonna over disrespect my kid. This is over a cup, guys. No, you're disrespecting my over daughter. That's what it's over. Dude, first off, she's calling her a My daughter stepped she's... in. I'm trying to calm myself down after she disrespected my 10 year old daughter. We have so... witnesses here, so we can do that too. Oh, That's yes. fine. Oh, she, yes. They can rewind the cameras do not disrespect my daughter like i said i didn't want say you, anything what? she Man. doesn't want you really want to say so she started calling her and my daughter told her not to be disrespecting her tia like and that you she started a, you are she one. started yelling at my 10 year old daughter i didn't yell at her first of all i did not yell at you. Exactly. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Apparently, at this Kentucky Fried Chicken, there was a difficult customer who wasn't eating his food and going on his way. He had the employees asking him to leave, which he refused to do. And that's when a bystander came over and hovered over him, demanding that he eats his food and leave, or will hand it over to him and it'll be taken from him. This left this difficult customer humiliated in front of everybody and had to give up his food. Let's have a look. All I'm trying to do is eat. That's all I'm trying to do. Like, you know what you can tell me what's gonna happen. Don't so, have something to say. I'm listening. Ain't got nothing good. to say. As long as we're Nobody done talking, I'm done talking. Now. Oh, okay. Hurry up and eat and get the Thank you. Hurry up and eat and get the out. I'm trying. Eat. I'm trying. Don't look at me. Eat at your look at your food. You're in my face. Look at your food. Now I'm sitting over you. Like how are you okay doing this? I'm doing it. Don't make me rob you. Eat your food. Rob me of what? Eat your food. You want it? Take it. No, give it to me. Take it. Give it to me. Put it in my hand. For what? Put it in my hand. I think you're Put so it in my 
Okay, so this lady did not get any sauce for her tacos and took it upon herself to cause hell to all of the employees. It wasn't long until somebody behind her, a completely random person, called her out for her actions and she turned all of her anger towards this completely random gentleman. This lady got into a screaming match, arguing back and forth. Let's have a look. Pull up, I'm not leaving. Uh, well, could you please pull up so we could have our food? When I get my sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so you're serious about this sauce? I see. I, you're serious, ma'am. Yes, I'm serious. Yes, I'm you're serious. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm serious too. Don't me, you mother. Okay. Get the, I'll put my car in reverse now, so you. Idiot. Well, I, I'm recording right now, you idiot. So do I. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then you can record yourself being dumb. Oh, the cops are coming for oh, this man. lady. Uh, uh. They probably have the cops on the way and they want you to stay right there. Honey, this is North Franklin Township. There are no cops. Oh, okay. It's the I wild. It's the, all right. Away. Well, when the, when the cops come, you'll see that there's cops. There are none. Okay. The state police aren't going to come unless it's life or death. Is it life or death? Oh, uh, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Apparently, it is life or death. Look how you're freaking out over sauce. <laughs> do you eat tacos without sauce? Yes, I do. This difficult customer was stampeding around this store because he wouldn't follow the same rules as everybody else and for this reason was actually denied service and asked to leave. He wouldn't leave and on top of this he was confronted by other customers who didn't want him in the store and that sent him into a total meltdown when he became extremely aggressive. Let's take a look. So you ain't gonna do nothing, motherfucker. You're gonna die. Sir? That's what's gonna happen to you. Sir? Face, sir? Face. No, sir? I'm, I'm gonna kill you. Sir, you have to get the store. I'm sorry. No, I don't have to. I'll get you too, mother. I'll get you too. You know what you did. You lied to my family. Hey, I'm at Dollar General 906. Hey, I have a customer going stuff at other yeah, I'm gonna kill them. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna kill Okay, so this Karen was waiting to get some ice cream and she wasn't happy with the wait and when she had received it, she believes that she was given the wrong scoop of ice cream. She wanted to speak to the manager immediately to get this employee fired over the mishap and then started abusing literally everybody and was denied service. This sent her into a total meltdown and only made matters worse as she held up everybody in the line. Let's have a look. She told you what we wanted. One of the doubles was supposed to be two different scoops. And that's what we paid for. No, you pay for people to sleep. Sir, you better give me the correct ice cream right now. You pay for the sleep. You pay for the sleep. Sir, I want to talk to the manager. I'm not dealing with this anymore. You need to just get me the correct order now. Okay, so this Karen was asked to follow the rules of this restaurant several times and refused to comply. By the time she had followed the rules, it was too little too late and she was denied service. This Karen had already paid for her food, but she was offered a refund. But as this Karen was too busy abusing and belittling the employees, she forgot to just take her money and leave or go someplace else. Let's have a look. What you gonna do though? Well, the police and are coming. Video you what going? that video do? Neither what that video do? What that video do? What that video do though? 
I, I give you your money back. I don't do that video, do I, I pay for my food. I give you your money back. My money back. I already give you your money back. As you can see right here. Girl, you so you stupid. Funny with your little scary. Okay, well, you're going to leave or I'm going to make you leave? Okay, then they're coming. I just can't. I'm going to tell them how long you to make sure you get fired. That's great. You do that. You broke bond. In Both of you need to step outside until you have a mask on, okay? Girl, I got my mask on. I'm not talking to you. Now she wanna buy somebody else. She wanna buy the other people now. She ruled it. Everybody in there. She ruled it. I'll give you a minute. She ruled it. Crazy shit about it. She's talking about some weed to stand outside because we gotta order in food, but everybody in it is standing in it. Okay, so this Karen started abusing this mother and her children for literally no reason. This Karen profiled this family and was very offensive towards them and even started abusing them and mocking them to other customers and making fun of this family. The mother overheard the conversation and confronted this Karen. Let's have a look. I'm going to get her license plate number. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Okay, please do. I'm glad I can get all your information that way. So what happened was... I came in, I ordered my food, I was respectful. Me and my children all have her masks on. They were a little bit disruptive. We went outside. We came back 10 minutes later. She saw us, like, my kids were running around. She was watching us. I thought it was weird. I didn't, but you know, I didn't think anything of it really. We came inside and she's sitting on this end of the bench. And I said, okay, sit down. Our food should be ready in just a second. It had been 10 minutes since I ordered our food. And then she gets up and starts talking to a random customer about how she doesn't want to be anywhere near my kids. They're not cute. They're gross. We shouldn't be in public. My kids and I all have her masks on. So she's cute and Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And, you know, this, I don't know if it's her being like we did nothing to her. And so then... This entitled customer was demanding his coffee, even though he wasn't following the same rules as everybody else. For this reason, he was obviously denied service and asked to leave the premise, which he refused to do, before getting extremely aggressive with the employees. This entitled customer then threw a big temper tantrum when he started throwing all of the products around the store and everything off the counter and register. Let's have a look. What do you mean, the, the safety to that man no mess. When? No, 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 what, after the governor got kicked out? Or which governor? No, 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 I want to hear this, I want to hear this, let's go. Who, who, who made the mess? Governor Kathy. Who? Governor Kathy. I have signs of the story, you guys can The signs don't mean nothing. We can read all about it. The signs don't mean nothing. Can you just, you know, make my go? Yeah. 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 Okay, so this Karen is in a lobby and she is in a very big argument in front of other customers. It wasn't long before the other employees had to intervene and try to calm her down, but this Karen was anything but polite about the situation when she turned her aggression onto the staff. This is one of the nicest staff members I have ever seen and this Karen is anything but nice towards him. Let's have a look. And we'll definitely I want him to write we'll right now. We'll I'm not leaving him. That's fine. You can have a seat. Yes. But you need to calm down. But this is not going to be acceptable. I understand, but it's a White lives matter also. Oh, yeah. White wow. lives matter. Okay. This is White lives matter. Yeah. White lives matter. And we don't find it necessary to loot just to find white lives matter. Yeah, that's, no. That's no, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. With what's okay. been going on here, that's we got to pay that's extra security. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. Right. There's no need to say anymore. You said white lives matter. There's no need to say anymore. I want him to write it. I want him to write it. We're writing. We're going to do that. Don't even worry. That's about what it. I want. There's no need to say anything anymore. Also, you want him to write down the White Lives Matter part just to make sure. Everything you said. Just want to make sure you want them to write down the White Lives Matter. I'm not getting justice. I'm not getting justice because I'm white. Guys, please, please stop talking to each other. I'm, I'm not getting justice because I'm white. 
Okay, so this lady wasn't happy with how long this employee was taken at this Target to scan her items. That's when this customer started belittling the staff member and she decided enough was enough and called security on her. When this Karen found out the security was called on her, she had a total meltdown at this employee. Let's have a look. Just got security called on me in Target because they couldn't match my raisin nuts. And what was your name, Michelle? You said you're the manager, Michelle? So, in Target for one hour, they got my order incorrect. And then she just randomly called security on me. I'm lucky for them. My mother's in internal affairs, so litigation. If anybody touched me in security, litigation will pursue. So I have a $10 gift card to make up for the extra one, if that will work for you. A $10 gift card? Mm -hmm. Are you going to add the extra, like you With said, Michelle? One? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do the whole okay, time. Okay, then yeah, Michelle. But I don't appreciate you calling security over your raising that. Well, you wouldn't let me explain. But that doesn't that, that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't initiate security. Oh, Michelle, come on. Calling security on somebody over raising nets? Thank you. Really? Video, that's really, Michelle? Really, Michelle? Come on. There you go. Is this Michelle. $10 Michelle. on here? Mm -hmm. What was your name? Diane, thank you for your professionalism. Bye, Michelle. <laughs> This Karen was caught and exposed in front of everybody for trying to dine and dash, which didn't work out very well for her. That's when she noticed that on top of being caught doing this, she was actually being recorded the entire time and had a total meltdown at the recordee as if they were the ones in the wrong. They caught out this Karen for her behavior. Let's have a look. Pay hey, them and leave. Pay hey, them and leave. Because why do we have to even deal with this Look how much food you guys got. You guys ordered so much and you're gonna leave without paying? Without paying, you still ordered it. They still cooked your you still food. Without paying, you still left without paying. You can up to us. Because you're video recording for them, for their protection. Go, pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. That really makes sense why you guys look like that. That's very real. Okay, pay them and leave. Okay. Trash. No, we're not trash. More trash. Pay them and leave. Just go and buy. Go and pay. It's soft. It's literally soft. You're still talking. Because you're still recording for you. Go Pay and them pay. and leave. What we're doing doesn't concern you. Go pay. It does girl. because I'm on video. Go so pay. Just... And what? Okay, so this customer ordered a sandwich and he was asked if he wanted to leave a tip. This was enough to set this Karen right off when he took out his camera and started recording and abusing these employees. The employees tried to de-escalate the situation for minutes, but he wasn't going to leave and wanted to continue throwing wild accusations at these employees and giving them a hard time. So let's have a look. Bro, I did four years in the Marines. Get the f out. Get the f out, lover of liberty. Go. Go. It's the f f here. Get the f Please, have they a good won't day. Deny it. Dude, who have I killed? Kill who have I killed? Dude, go away, dude. You, okay, you are wait. ridiculous, man. You, you, are, you look don't, at how old you are. You look don't know anything old. about us at all. Dog, go but you away. know everything about me. That's dude, why you're going to no, kill me. No, we dude, actually dude. haven't said anything. This angry Karen was actually at a Dunkin' Donuts demanding service after she was denied it. She was asked to leave the premise, but this sent her into a total meltdown because she was going to get served one way or another. She tried everything from hurling abuse towards the employees to actually walking into the back of the Dunkin' Donuts to confront and harass the employees who had asked her to leave. Let's have a look. Don't swear. I don't need to do anything. I was just asking. I don't need to do anything. What do I need to do? I don't need to do anything. What are you going to do to me? Exactly. 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 You really serve me. I won't be leaving somebody in here serving me. She'll serve you. You think you talk to now? Tell me to calm down. Now tell me to be quiet. You better get my money, Miss. Somebody better get my money. Take your money. Somebody better get my money before I start asking for you. Get my money. Put it right in. The same way I gave it to you. Know. Everything, but 
This Karen was creating hell inside of this McDonald's when she got confrontational with an employee and decided to throw her drink in the employee's face. It wasn't long before her rampant destruction was brought to an end when the police officers had to show up and literally arrest her in front of everybody. Let's have a look. Do not touch my boss! You just you me! This Karen customer completely lost her cool inside of this Wendy's as she claimed she was waiting 25 minutes for a burger and wanted it there and then. She then got into a heated argument with another customer face to face before finding herself in an argument with the manager who quickly shut her down and put her in her place. Let's have a look. WestJet airline lobby, there was this Karen who was not happy with a flight being delayed and decided to take the anger out on the people who had nothing to do with it. She stood in this line yelling and screaming at everybody, abusing them as well, and obviously the stewardess have nothing to do with the delay and can't get them boarded sooner. Let's have a look. And look at all those people down there. This is guys together. Oh. Yeah, we can't fly because of your staff shortages. Don't give me the bull. Actually, you see this? They're getting called tomorrow. I work yeah. for a bunch of lawyers. Okay. And they are getting and called you, in you your really head think, office. Do you think that I'm intimidated by Oh, no. I don't give a okay. what yeah. you think. So now... If you don't stop swearing, you're not traveling with us. Really? Yeah. Do you want to We're not going? traveling anyway. I want I want a refund well, we and I want a rebook. sure that you don't travel at all if you continue Oh, I don't give a Okay, great. In that case, we will just remove I want. Ticket. I want a refund and I'm booking with another okay. airline. Okay, okay. Three. This entitled customer was refusing to leave the premise after he was denied service for being incredibly abusive and offensive to the employees. He refused to leave the premise though and then actually tried to call immigration on the workers stating that he didn't think that they were in his country legally and wanted to get them in trouble. He then made a complete fool out of himself when you can tell that he's not actually on the phone to anybody and was just a terrible customer. Let's have a look. There's some wetbacks working here, they're legal. Yes, sir. He's calling the sheriffs right now. Call the immigration. Yes, please. There's one, two, three ladies that don't have papers. Yes, sir. I swear to God, I'm an American citizen. I want to Vietnam and I want to the guerra. Yes, sir. I'm gonna wait outside, call the immigration, please. He's calling the sheriffs, I'm calling the immigration. You suck my c Okay, so this Karen was inside of her drive thru and she wasn't happy with her tender meal order, so she decided to get out of her car, hold the entire line up so that she could scream and abuse at the staff member who took her order. This Karen then even told them to come outside so that she could get into a fight with them and thought that this was appropriate behavior because her meal was mixed up. Let's have a look. I'm 
This Karen was hosting a children's birthday party and she had Uber Eats some cheeseburgers for the kids. Upon arrival, she decided that these burgers were not warm enough to her liking, so she stampeded back into this McDonald's, demanding compensation and some new burgers. This Karen started belittling all of the staff and blaming them for ruining the party. Let's have a look. Two ladies walked straight past me, didn't even acknowledge This angry shopper wasn't happy with what somebody else was wearing and decided to confront them for it. It didn't take long before his girlfriend was holding him back physically from escalating the situation even further when he found himself humiliated in front of everybody and also banned from the store. Let's have a look. What are you, buddy? What are you? What? The poor little girl from... What? What are you? This Karen thought that she could get away with disguising her pram as a stealing device. After pretending that her baby was in there and using it to put items she had stolen inside the pram, she was confronted for this and humiliated. Let's have a look. So what do you want me doing the cops? Bring the cops, mate! Bring the cops. Let my baby go! You haven't even got hey! in there. Hey! Man! Let go! 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 This male Karen is inside of a smoothie store and apparently they messed up an order and put peanuts in the smoothie, which his child was allergic to. This male Karen stampeded into the store, abusing just about everybody, demanding to speak to the person who made the smoothie so that he could abuse them. When he couldn't find out who made the smoothie, started abusing everybody and getting it in their faces. Let's have a look. Please don't yell at us. Yeah. Don't video TV. You have no room to yell at us. I want to speak to the person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't we don't know me. who made it. So you don't know who made it. There's four of us here, so we obviously don't know. Stupid, ignorant high school kids. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the. Bye. Kid. Okay, you can Jam call corporate whatever you want. Goodbye. Jam stop. Young. No, I don't care. Give it to me right now. Yeah. What? Oh, oh, yeah. I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police.
This Karen's husband is an ex-police officer. Because of this, she thought she had the authority to walk into this random store and start stealing items. She was obviously soon confronted for this and stated that it was okay and even tried to leave with them as well. She was then recorded for what she was doing which sent her into a total meltdown where she got heated and confrontational with the other employees. She then started pointing fingers and hurling all sorts of abuse towards them. So let's have a look. You're stealing, so you I, go- I'm not, No, I'm not stealing. You are I stealing. Just left the store? You just said you just said you were gonna steal. You just said you were gonna steal. No, I said stealing. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> so okay, go ahead because you called everybody disrespectful me. names. And they're chasing me because I called one of their girls a. And don't forget oh, that. Oh, God. are we still so an old woman? Are we This male Karen was in this mobile phone store and he was throwing a total meltdown towards the employees. He decided to start banging on the glass in an attempt to get his way and when that wasn't gonna happen he stampeded around causing all sorts of mayhem and abusing just about everybody. It wasn't long before he was denied service and the authorities were called on him so let's have a look. Yeah cause you don't know how to use a phone. Oh. Come out here and say that to my I don't got to. Come on. Go ahead keep talking. Come on you mother keep I'm a mother yeah, keep talking. Get out of here. I'm not the one who doesn't have money. Get out from behind the cage. Mike, you're finished in business. Dave, you're finished. I'm showing this to the police, by the way. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you know what the cops are going to tell you? Sell All right, go ahead. I'm calling the police on you. I'm going to show them the video. And they're going to gladly hey, be happy. Go ahead. I'm going to show the police. Oh, oh I'm so scared. That's perfect. That out, literally, that's beautiful. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Shove the bone up your sideways. Yep. Okay. Police is gonna see this. They're gonna love and this phone. Have your store closed. Oh yeah. From who? You? Yeah. Wonder. This lady circled around the drive-through to throw her meal back at the employee's face, demanding her to smell it immediately. The reason being is she believes she had mold on the bun, but the employee says that it's just some flour and it's nothing to be worried about. This Karen had a total meltdown though, and you couldn't talk any sense into her. Let's have a look. Hi. Hey, I just ordered here and there's mold on my bread. I want a refund for my whole meal. And smell it. Tell me if that smells right to you. Smell the top bun. That's, that's not mold, that's flour. That's the bottom bun. I'm talking about the top. There's green on there. And like four areas. And smell it. Put it up to your nose, put your mask down and smell it. It doesn't even smell right. I want my money back. And I want to talk to a manager as well. I am, and you're acting like a psycho. So you let your cooks happen. give people molded bread. No, absolutely not. The things happen, and I am sorry about that. You okay. can open that Have sandwich and see. You better give me my money back or I'm calling corporate. Call the police. Give me my no, receipt. No, give me my receipt now. We have you on video. She did not just lock the door. <laughs> give me my money back. Stephanie yeah. quit. This difficult customer had just purchased a sweet tea and after drinking half of it decided it wasn't sweet enough for her. She decided to come back and complain to the employee as if it's his fault that the tea isn't sweet enough before demanding a refund for a half finished drink. This obviously wasn't going to happen and it sent this Karen into a total meltdown where she demanded compensation and was adamant on getting her way. Let's have a look. It's expired. That's why it's not sweet expired. It's not expired. Wait, is it expired? Is that sweet? I tasted it. Don't it expires it. March 20th, 2014. I don't care. It doesn't taste sweet. 
Uh, I'm sorry, we can't help you. There's no refunds. Refunds? And we want to see people. All is about money in America, about money. I want another juice. It's not sweet. Give me, give me a fresh, a sweet juice. Why put expired juice on the shelf? What do you get it's rid not of it? It's not expired. It's not expired. I don't believe these numbers. I don't believe these numbers. I don't you believe can it. call the company and complain to them, but we're not replacing it. What company? God, I have what company? You fed, fed so company. Okay, you can leave now. Take your juice and go. Why should I take my juice? Give me sweet juice. No. I take my money. Why steal my money? All these thieves in this, in this town. Okay, go. Leave. Or you call the cops. Or call the cops. Okay. You call the cops. I'm not scared of you. You can escape with the cops. It's not sweet. All these All right, you can go. Please leave. I'm not going. Give me sweet juice. No, leave. Yes. Don't stare at me. I hate fat uh, big men. Okay, All of you fine. pigs. Don't stare at me. If, if you stare at me, you have to be cute. This Karen stampedes into this burger shop because apparently they had made her order wrong yet again. She had gotten all of the way home until she realized it was wrong and stampeded inside of the store before slamming her meal on the counter, demanding that it be fixed yet again, but correctly this time. This Karen starts yelling at just about everybody, belittling them and stating that it's not rocket science and that they need to compensate her for the inconvenience. Let's have a look. Well, you got half of them right, the other half of them wrong. This is the third try to get these burgers right. I am really angry. I got all the way home, and they're still not right. I don't know who is so stupid you can't read English. It's not hard. I'm really angry, and I'm sorry I'm yelling. Okay. I'm really upset. But you did it once, you did it once. Okay. And they're still wrong. Okay, it's I'm not sorry. hard. This is burgers. This is ketchup, mustard, onion, pickle. Yes, this is not rocket science. Give me one second, man, okay? I've got all the way home and back again now. You should get a hide in Chicago because I'm really, really cruel. Oh, sorry, I have to pull down. Disturbing fingers. I get a chicken today. No, I don't need the chicken. I ate it. It was awful, but I ate it. Oh, it was. That's the worst chicken I've ever had here. This person was in a fast food restaurant, and as they received their food, they were misgendered. This sent this person into a total meltdown when they came back into the store and created hell. They claimed that they were gaslighting the situation and making it worse, and this person was just sick of being misgendered and felt like they weren't being taken seriously, so decided to try to call corporate. Let's have a look. Right here, it's like every single day, you guys, and this is why I complain about all the time. Look, what's what's his name? What's your name? My name Alex? Is Tommy. Yeah, your name's Alex, and I'm gonna be talking to your manager. This guy called me sir. I get this happens every I get. everywhere I go. I get called sir. I'm so I sorry. Why would you call? No, stop trying to gaslight trans people and tell us that we're crazy. Crazy. You need to be mindful of other people and stop being so. scumbag. And you're a liar. I heard you. No, I'm gonna talk to corporate about this. You don't harass trans people. Hey, you know it's one of the stupid things get when you're catching Karens. I didn't even say nothing. You call me sir, and you're talking to me sir on the way. This is. Phobic harassment. Oh my You're a bigot. Oh my work. All right, Alex, you know what? I, I can't wait to just. He admits twice calling me sir. No, he lied about the first one. No, you called me sir twice. He said he twice. The time. Yeah, but you shouldn't be harassing people with slurs. It's a slur. Do you not understand? I never you, said it's like if you call the person I that called the N word. Don't. You did on the way out. I don't care. I have the right to be. I never said sir. You did. I said I'll lock the door. You did, you liar. And I'm going to hold you accountable. People, cis people need to be held accountable for how they treat This difficult customer was placing their order and giving the employee grief over the speaker. Little did they know that every employee could hear what they were saying, and when they tried to belittle the staff at the window, they were met with the manager who completely put them in their place and shut down their abusive behavior. Let's have a look. Today. Who was who was talking to us back there? Do you have a question? About a different question? About somebody saying you don't have to be this difficult? It doesn't have to be that difficult to order a sandwich. There's a way to order it and it just confuses the cooks in the front. So if I don't if I don't want my sandwich with everything on it, we're not you just allowed to say that at the beginning? 
because when they put it in, it, it's all, it already prompts up to the front. Everything you say back there goes all the way to that front. So it just confuses them. So they start making it with everything on it, and then you say you don't want it, and you just want bacon. So it confuses the cooks. Okay, the but there's a, nice, there's a nicer way. Bacon. Okay, but there's a nicer way to say stuff. And there's a what, proper way to order food. So All right. If you don't want your job, if you don't want your job, just quit. Ma'am, if you don't know how to order food, then go somewhere else. Don't play with me. Ma'am, don't play with me. I'm not going to go ahead and pay. For, go ahead. Here, tell you, here's your card. Cancel that order that's coming up. Take your card, please. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Yep. Thank you, too. Yep, she goes. Okay, so at this Burger King drive through this difficult Karen was trying to get a refund for her order. When mid-complaint, the Burger King actually caught on fire. The entire staff and customers obviously had to evacuate immediately, but that wasn't acceptable for this Karen who still hadn't received the refund when she demanded that the employees go back into the burning building and give her her refund immediately. Let's have a look. This crazy Karen was at this convenience store late at night when she started abusing the employee. She actually threw out all sorts of abuse and also threats towards him before flipping him off and creating hell in the store. The employee was very confused as he didn't know who she was, but she refused to leave the store. Let's have a look. You're a dog. You know what a dog is? You're a big dog. Your own people are gonna f you. That's how much of a dog you are. You know what you're doing right now, Diana? Ah, uh, you know what you're doing right now? You're looking into my private life. You're listening to my in, my in my own home when you're not affiliated. Do you understand that? And now you're filming me. Why are you filming me? Because you won't serve me, but you want to give me fake money. You want to give me fake money? Oh, right, let's go. Come on, let's go outside. You want to give me fake money? Yeah, is this? Is that? Is this in Chinese too? Yeah, take my rubbish. Take my rubbish. Keep going. Keep going. Look. You wanna ring my bells? Excuse me. You wanna ring my bells? Debbie. Ring my bell. You're a dog. You're a dog. Give me a hand. Dog, dog, doggy, dog, dog. Doggy came to the market. Look right what now. he seen. He bought out the place and doesn't have a fee. Doggy dog dog, doggy dog dog, dog dog dog, you wanna eat some dog? Dog, doggy, doggy, you're a try doggy. You f your own kind, you f your own kind. Done. This Karen was demanding her dollar back inside of this convenience store as she wasn't happy with the product. She tried everything to get her dollar back including abusing the employee and yelling at him for several minutes. Things escalated quickly when she actually started picking up items on the counter and throwing them at him before calling him all sorts of names and making all sorts of accusations towards him. Let's have a look. Call the police please, I'm waiting. Unfortunately the phone's not working. Oh the phone, you want me to call him? Yeah. Do you want me to call him? Yeah. Cause I will. Go ahead. Give me my money back. Now. I'm not going to deal with a belligerent I, customer. I am not belligerent. You are. You are disrespectful, dude. I did not disrespect you. Oh, you didn't? No. You, di you didn't? No. You didn't. So when I pick up a dollar mother item and you want to throw it at me? I did not throw it. And tell me that you have bull, mother bull. I put it back. No, 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 no. This is what you did. I'm going to show you what you did. I'm going right here. One dollar. One dollar. Is what it says, right? So I bring it up to your counter. You say it's the wrong price. I take you over there to show you what's a dollar. If you go like this and you say, I ain't got to change it. Give me my money back. You're not going to disrespect me. 
Your phone don't work, I'll call the cops. I Give me my it. money back. You are disrespectful. I hear you. You hear me? Yep. No! No! Who the f do you think you are? I forgot my oh, name. Oh, don't refund my money. Tell her to leave the store and I'll refund it to you. Listen, I'll call the cops. Because I'm a veteran. Cops love us. I'm not going to. I'm not. You're going to. No, you're going to go and refund my money. I'm not going to deal with her while she's yelling at me. I'm going to deal with if, you if, and if, if I, re I return this to you because you're being respectful and if she gets out, this I'll is go. My husband. I don't care. Your husband was raised right. Husband seen you. This customer was in an argument with the manager at this Kentucky Fried Chicken when things escalated quickly as this customer had a total meltdown at them. The manager wasn't expecting this customer to stand up for himself like this and put this manager in their place when he started raising hell and wouldn't leave the store. Let's have a look. <laughs> I gave it to you, give it back. Okay. She's not the manager I am. Yeah, you okay. manage this place. Right now, you're trying to What? You'll run this place right to the ground. Give me my money, lady. I don't care what you said. You took it, you ain't giving me my food. Listen here, sir, you're not going to get loud with me. I'm getting your money. Do you need me to leave the car? Get the money, down here? please. Call him. I will, because you took my money and you ain't giving this back. You're playing games. What do you think you're going to give him to? This $42. Oh, my Lord. This drive through dispute took place between a couple of employees inside of this McDonald's drive through Things had escalated quickly when neither party wanted to admit that they were the ones in the wrong and they wanted the manager to admit fault or have the customer leave, which neither of them were going to do. This manager wasn't expecting this customer to have a backbone like he did though when he started calling out multiple employees. Let's have a look. Hi, is that your boss? No. no. Are you her boss? From there. No. Who is her boss? Mercedes. Is she here right now, Mercedes? No, she's not. So she's the boss right now on duty because she just told me to f myself and I have to record and I'm talking to corporate. You called me. D you. So, so look how you. you look. Me so what? You, you're gonna call me? Like, like I see I it. Call you. Like you Move see your car from there. Aww. Oh, Do you like her? Because she's gonna get fired and. Because this is the second time and my thing that I'm telling her is they should just put a sign out there. You see all those you know what, lady? I'm not talking to you. You had your chance to talk to me. You don't know how to talk. I am talking. I'm trying to resolve this issue. You're what I'm saying, by I'm not there. talking to you. I'm just saying that they should have put a sign out there because this is the second time I came. No, Instead, they tell me from right last now. time, I'm, I'm not right talking now. to you. The long she does that, the longer I don't get to talk to you, the longer She's I don't get my point across. I'm not talking to her. But they should put a sign out there if that's what corporate does. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll roll your... This convenience store employee believes that this couple came in and messed up her store by picking up items and not putting them back correctly. For this reason, she actually denied them service and kicked them out of her store, which this couple didn't agree with, and that's where the argument begun. The couple argued that they were complying with the rules and just trying to check out, which was obviously denied. Let's have a look. You're, you're not gonna bully you, you came here yelling at us. You came here yelling at us. You came to us. Me, I have cameras. You didn't even need to come over here. She was taking care Get of us. Out. You came here trying Get to out. start stuff with us. Really? I saw you. I saw you. I want to see which ones. I want to see which ones we we messed up. I want to see which ones we messed up. I want you out. You can call whoever you want. I want you out. It's okay. Point it out. I want you out. You can call whoever you want, but guess what? You're gonna call them out of that door. Get out now. Can we see where we messed up? You already know the rules. You know that whenever you walk into a store, you are not to mess up the store looking for penny items. We did not mess up your store. And if you do that, you are to fix it. Because guess what? I have Which a carpets? lot of people that are penny people. But you know what? You know why I respect them? Because they walk in, they look through the stuff, and guess what? They even fix it better than when it was. And that's, and what, that's we what we do. No, that is because what we I was do. I'm saying we go to you. every single store, and we never have no one, whatever you are, general manager, whatever, no one ever treats us like that. Really? Do you understand? Oh, guess really? what? We've gone to five stores. So why didn't you fix it? 
It's you Simple. treat people, you treat customers with respect. Yeah, him raising his voice at me. You came, you came yelling. at us. Okay, leave this. Okay, so this Karen was actually disrespecting this other person when he was confronted for it. He immediately backed down when this other person got very aggressive and intimidating towards him and even got in his face demanding to fight him. You can obviously tell that this Karen wanted none of this and backed down immediately and was humiliated in front of his friends who were egging him on. Let's have a look. <laughs> This Karen was being a very difficult customer when she wasn't following the same rules as everybody else, but also abusing the employee. The employee didn't take this lightly though when he started pushing her buttons back, and that was enough to send this Karen into a total meltdown because she ran behind the counter in an attempt to attack him. Let's have a look. I need you to stop harassing the customers. Come back here. Come behind the register. I got you on recording. I'll show this to the cops. <laughs> Come back here. I'll show this to the cops. You lame-o. What did you say? You lame-o. Oh my god, what? you're mean. What did he say? Lame-o. What's that? It means you're a loser. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> This Karen was harassing these random people for speaking Greek. As they are in America, she believes that they should speak English. This entitled Karen was belittling these people, demanding that they speak her preferred language. When another person overheard this conversation and called this Karen out, completely putting her in her place. Let's have a look. Yourself, then call the police. I will. Because you don't speak English. Speak I speak English, English very well. Oh, come. I don't care. I will. Oh, if you're harassing go ahead. me. I'm not harassing you. Well, well, well. Okay. Stop. Stop. That language is not allowed in the store. If you harass, you need to go. I'm not You're not welcome here if you do that. There you go. You're telling me you are not welcome, ma'am. You're telling me you are not welcome. Yeah, speak English. Bye. You're nerd. Bye. Don't tell me what to do. Bye. They had everybody. You're not welcome. Okay, so this Karen was staying at a hotel and being a very difficult customer. She was demanding some toiletries immediately and then had a total meltdown at the employees for not restocking her room. This hotel doesn't offer daily cleaning services and this was made clear to the Karen at the start of her stay. And then this Karen demands that this employee calls the manager immediately while the manager is not only not on shift but also asleep. Let's have a look. I, we can understand that you cannot deal with us. It's obvious that you don't have the capacity, okay? <laughs> okay. You have, can you can you call somebody? Um, I will not call my manager on her day off. That's what managers are for, because you don't have management authority. Okay. But I have the have authority to stand here authority. and listen to what you're saying, so... Like, I don't <laughs> know what you want from me. I'm not going to give you a refund because you still stayed here, so... We're not staying here, we're telling you. We're not staying in the darn room. Only a dirty person will stay in a nasty bed that wasn't without toilet paper i can give you toilet are you, paper are but you really that low breed? are you really that low that you will stay I in already a explained one? that we don't do daily servicing because of covid if you can't accept that that's too bad i don't know what you want me to do because i can't do nothing you don't about even it put toilet paper in the rooms and, uh, i can give you toilet paper but i but can't no, do anything not, else it's not my job for me to put come and pick it up it's your job the hotel's job no okay. my job is to be front desk and listen to you complain at me so i'm doing my job unbelievable no it's very okay. believable no it's not believable it is a shame i have never in my entire life been a comforting Okay, so this customer was with a phone company and she has lost her phone. Now she has went into the store to try and talk to the representative to try and solve the issue, except the representative who is helping her with her case isn't interested at all and is looking down at her phone while she is being spoken to. For this reason, the customer becomes very frustrated and demands to speak to the manager and still feels like she's not being taken very seriously. So let's have a look at what happens next. I'm gonna rude. I just told you. I just, of course, I'm, I'm, and it's not that I was rude. I'm angry, which I have every right to be. She was not. I'm, I'm explaining to her the issue I'm having, and she's still looking at a phone in my hand. So how is that not? 
I'm telling you both that I lost my phone and you're looking at a phone in my hand confused how I got the cops called on me. Just because the David, oh, okay. and I'm confused because you guys, uh, you didn't got, ask me to leave. Okay. You just refused to speak to me. It, all, okay. all we got was that they asked you to leave and you wouldn't. Yeah, that's all, all we got. have it all on no, camera. Yeah, no, they I'm never asked yeah. me to leave. I'm they didn't yeah. say anything bad other than that. Yeah, that's all we got on our screen that said uh, a female refusing to leave is upset about a broken phone. That's all we got. So. And, and, and as soon as I heard that, yeah. I, I, I used to be an AT&T customer, and I was upset with yeah, it for a long time. I got time Verizon now. Completely I have my problems with AT&T. I'm no. with the Verizon. So. So, I came in here because I broke my phone. Okay. Okay, so this Karen was in this drive-thru and she was being incredibly disrespectful towards this employee. This employee decided enough was enough and decided to give her the same attitude back and told her that she didn't care about her problems or her order and told her to go away. This Karen was shocked and humiliated when she realized she wasn't going to get her way. Let's have a look. This morning. Get away from the window. I'm not talking to you anymore. I don't care. You don't care? No. Give me the manager. But can you hear her talking to me? Can you put out to number one? Your mom don't care how I talk to you. She not gonna do nothing. What do you mean she don't care how I talk to you? She's not you better get her. You better. You better do it right now. I'm gonna watch you do it right now because that is. A uh, 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 no. uh, 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 what? Don't talk to me like that. Hello. I talk to you however I want. You gonna Please talk get to me however you want? Yeah. You. <laughs> Are you? Do you hear that? No, no, no. Yeah. It's ready. Yeah. Yeah, get out of my drafting. Come on, come on. She jumped out the. Oh, she jumped out the window. Come on, come on. 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 Come on,